Ladies and gentlemen, my owls. Are we ready to get started? I'm excited. I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't DM'd a game in forever. Maybe it has been forever. Why has it been so long? Have the video games really sucked me in that much? Totally possible. Welcome, Jace. Mr. Shelly first. Jace, don't know this don't know this game or what it's about. Excited to see though. Well, we're gonna play some DD. We're gonna play some DD. I like to stream my DD game so I have a visual log. I also like to stream. It is not a video game, no, it's a DD game. I also like to stream my prep sessions for Dungeon Masters. So there's that, which we're done prepping. We're ready for the game itself. Are you familiar with D&D? Well, you called it a campaign, so I'm assuming you're familiar with D&D. I should hope if you found this channel, you're uh, familiar with D&D. Either way, welcome. I, man, I'm ready to get started, but I don't know. A little, lol. Shelly, I'm sorry I didn't get you in this one. Only I didn't have too much room to work with. Didn't have too much room to work with. But I think you've been in every campaign up to this point since Frost Maiden. So hope you don't mind missing one. Even though it's been a year since I ran a game. Almost. Has it been a year? Well, until then, until we start, I mean, how's everybody doing? So we've got D&D &D tonight, and we've got D&D &D tomorrow. We've got the Thursday group and the Friday group. I'm only running two. Only running two this time around. I'm going to be honest, I am overprepared for tonight. I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit overprepared, at least compared to what I usually am. Um, but, you know, I guess better to be overprepared than under. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I, I definitely... It was one of those situations where I was like preparing and I was having fun doing it. I have fun prepping D and D games. I don't know if you notice, but um, yeah, it's just one of those situations situations where I had a lot of fun with it. I've uh, been watching for a while, about a decade. Had a couple of chances to play, kind of just like watching. Yeah, understandable, understandable. It's interesting. That is interesting. Well, we're gonna be playing here in about five minutes, hopefully. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Did I? Ah, oh, my camera's been acting up lately. I'm fixing it. It keeps like free, like making, making noise and freezing up. I don't know what's going on with it. It's never done this. You guys see me? been all season since Icewind Dale. It's been a good, it's been a wild ride, Mr. Shelley. Happy to have you along. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to add Thursday. Starting soon. Been watching you for a couple years now. Just recently coming back to YouTube in the first, in the few last months. Okay. Welcome back. Hope you're ex as excited as I am for some D&D. I think I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. How y'all doing? Hey, buddy. Good to see you again. Y'all ready, hey, ready for some D&D? Hey, uh, y'all ready for some D&D? Ready as, uh, ready as we're going to be. I mean, there's the performance anxiety, but you know. I... Wish I could help with that. I don't really have any uh anything. You don't just kind of get that. used to I it. Have something, I have something called excessive amounts of caffeine. So. <laughs> I'm just using my old man ability to compartmentalize shit I don't want to think about. Um, sure. That's that's what I'm doing my best with for sure. any the, anxiety about it. The old man ability. Well, I'm going to be 40 this year, so I better be getting some kind of ability out of it. How's it going, Maestro? Yinzilla. 
Hello, everybody. Hello. We are only missing one. We're only missing Chippy. Chippy. He's always the problem. Always the problem. Problem, child. I never cause issues. <laughs> uh, be right back in like 30 seconds. Sure. One. We'll see. We'll two, see who the problem child will three. be this campaign. I think Ian's, like I think I Ian's volunteering. He's competing. <laughs> if it's a challenge. <laughs> I do love it. Is team. everybody excited? Oh, yeah, no. It's going to be really cool because I uh, run a game uh, with uh, Dragonus is in, but I've never like played with him, so that's going to be really cool. Nice. We like that. Everybody's characters all spick and span. Already. Yeah, it's complete. Everybody That's loaded up in here. Um, Got the uh, Elrin. the Beyond 20 installed and all that, so good to go. Oh, such Elrin. a good app. Such a good extension. It's very nice. Very nice. Beast. So, is this El Elrin, is this you, B? Nope. Which one's this? That's me. That's you? Okay, cool. Nice. Not someone you won't be able oh, to you, you made it in uh, the Spirit Forge. Nice. Oh, speaking of which, can you can everyone put a link to their character sheets in yeah. their bio right above their magic items? Yeah. Or, their magic item wish list. Can do that. Can do that. We just have to do all of the work. I oh, know. <laughs> the amount of, like, really, the it's the players that put it all the work in the prep. Uh -huh. Yeah. You haven't done multiple <laughs> streams. Like, it, it's like, all right, you, I got you, you haven't done anything. Like, not certainly not multiple streams of, like, preparing for this. Um, oh, it's not it's actually so a link. Like, Let me fix it. And off stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't remember how to do this. I don't use the gun. Oh my god. I hate the formatting issues I'm having. Oh well. It's okay. We got time. It's the first session, so we're going to have uh, some growing paint, some adjustments to be made. I just. Oh my god. We'll yeah. all get there. He has there a we go. Hey. How you doing, Chepe? Ready for some DD, bud? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Chebby. Oh, we can't hear you if you're talking, by the way. Man, I've got my D and D hat on. I feel like I haven't I haven't worn this hat in a minute. I'm Is it the beanie? Are you <laughs> wearing like the metaphorical time? DM hat? Oh. My headphones are the D <laughs> my oh, I, I Although see. great merch idea, the DM hat. It'd be, I mean, the old Steely, the one we used to know, was beanies all day, every day. Beanies all day, every day. That is true. And then so he'd reveal his on. luscious locks, and so then he cut it all. Believe it or not. <laughs> Literally within a month. <laughs> well, that's actually why. So I don't know if y'all know this, but the reason I wore a beanie is because I didn't like fixing my hair, like, before I recorded. I just wanted to record. I didn't want to, like, brush it and do stuff with it so i just put the beanie on to cover it up that's what the beanie that's why i stopped wearing it when i cut my hair when i had my hair short because it's like oh you know it's short now i can do whatever i want with it hell yeah or i don't have to mess Dude, with uh, it can really... little little bit of lore right. for you Wait, wavy reddish or brownish hair is a pain in the ass to deal with right. hair in general is difficult but oh. i mean when you look this good you? we oh, are. are we really Oh gosh, I didn't even realize that. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hope you're having yeah. a good night. Don't We're embarrass yourself now. We are. <laughs> Too late. I already did. Come on. It's, it's already it's documented. <laughs> yeah. Trevor. Can y'all hear me? I, I hear you now. I can hear you now, hear you now okay. yeah. Don't worry. The cringy stuff that I've gotten into on stream couldn't possibly. Oh. I think. I think we're all. I think you're all safe. There's, there's it's a nice little a shield to make new memories. Dude. There's always a chance. 
Okay, I think we're all ready. Jeffy, right, are you ready? Where's the nearest brothel? Uh oh, I mean. Is there a... Uh oh, we're there. No hesitation. No, no hesitation. Just gonna hit the brothel right away. Okay, listen. So I reached out. So man, there's like there's like a lot to go over. I didn't make a list of everything that I wanted to go over. So we're just gonna we're like we're just gonna have to figure it out mid game. Um, one thing off the top of my head, I don't uh, I don't like. I only want you to roll if I ask for it. It's well, skill checks, like an attack roll, go for it. But like skill checks, only roll those when I ask for them. Uh, let's see. Ian, you got anything? Ian, Ian, Chepe, and Beef. I have run before. I've played with um, Dragon and, and Benjamin are new. So whenever I run a new campaign... I try to bring in new people that I've never run before just to kind of get that that DMXP. And also to I'm also because I'm on the prowl hunting for new players to play with, you know, like people that, that I mesh well with. So because he's a man eater. Man. <laughs> maybe, maybe that could be uh maybe that could be one of you. I'm gonna eat you take your personality. Uh, maybe that could be one of you, um the two of you. We'll see. Uh, what do you what do you think, Ian B? What am Can't I missing? Can't think of really anything else. I mean, besides you guys went through the like starting character creation rules and knowing which is like what the like flanking rules and what all of the stuff that Steely allows for the. Don't you also do like one roll per like per like check like like I that's that one's so complicated that? because there's some checks where that's not the case. So I'm just gonna say this. Do- Generally, if if you're if you're role playing and the and you have a, a social skill check for sure, social skill checks. If you're mm-hmm. role playing, whoever whoever has the highest perception is the one that's gonna roll it, and that's generally the case with any skill. So I recommend going through your skills and maybe working together. I, I wanted to put this out earlier before game, but I didn't know how to word it. But basically, there's gonna be some skill checks where whoever has the highest is going to roll it regardless knowledge checks for sure history arcana religion nature no. i'm going to ask for a nature check only one person's going to roll it whoever has the highest you also generally you when you do it you say one person roll me yeah playing. i'll usually tell i usually say it say that like one person but to prevent useless skills like if you've invested in a skill that you're never going to get to use because somebody else maybe has expertise in it you can provide them if you have proficiency in a skill, but you're not the highest. You're going to be giving them advantage. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Like, but there are some yeah. skills that are that are just useful for everyone. Athletics for grapples. Um, your everybody needs or everybody can use stealth on their own in combat. Perception is going to be an, an individual thing. Medicine, if you want to get somebody up, stabilize. It's, there's a couple of skills that are just like everybody needs these, or or everybody can. I'm going to say everybody needs them, but everybody can't use them. I'm ready to get started. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it. Out. I'm like I'm too excited to do this right now. I think you covered the bases. I don't think there's anything crazy. We'll also, see. We'll see. We'll, you know, it's we'll, we'll figure it out. What? Go ahead, beef. Uh, we generally change our in-game like our names like in the roll 20 yes yes please make your roll 20 name if you go to the settings in your display name i'm going to do it right now change your display your name to your character name and in parentheses your discord name Of all the, I've run like so many people. I've only had one person that was be, that was difficult about. <laughs> that was being difficult. It was an RL friend of mine. Oh, hey, that, I that feels like a challenge. I should have. I should have been the second. Yeah. Just remember, we're not in Friday group. No, Friday is always the issue. Friday is always the <laughs> the problem child for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So if you click click the cog, and I think it's the very top. It says display name. Yeah. Character name and in parentheses, your oh. Discord name. Okay. All right. So I reached um, out I reached out to each of you asking why your character is in Neverwinter and why they're going to Fandolin. Some of you gave me more than others, and I was able to develop kind of an opening scene. If you don't get an opening scene, don't worry. We'll just kind of we'll just kind of roll with it. 
like you can just tell me what your character is doing. But for those of you that have an opening scene, we're going to go ahead and get started this. It's going to be very brief. We're just going to introduce each character one by one. Very brief. Knock it out. And then start the campaign from where the book le uh, leaves us. So, um, let's start. Let's pick on Chepe. Chepe, yeah. are you ready? Yes, sir. So, Chepe, we're starting you off in a lab. Can you describe your lab to us? I, I wasn't, I didn't fully understand the the logistics of your lab. So, if you could just like lay it out for me, it's in Neverwinter. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> so, we find ourselves in the, the cold of Neverwinter. Uh, about 10 feet down underground in a clandestine experimental lab full to the ceiling with beakers and hoses connecting the beakers as you see a lanky amorphous vaguely humanoid ooze wearing a sort of like dark blue aristocratic doublet and a beret. He doesn't have a, a face per se, but under the beret where a face might be if one were a human, you see kind of like a Gumby-like assemblage of knickknacks arranged into an expression, like little pebbles and sticks that form a smile. And uh, this is Antoine, and he is pouring various gases and liquids and turning knobs here and there, furiously uh, consulting notes to some experimental end. Okay. The party's not here with you, by the way. This is how you're going to get to the carriage where the party is, where we're all going to oh, yeah. converge. Okay, you are conducting an experiment and something, and go for it. What, something goes wrong? Uh, yeah. Uh, in one of the larger reaction vessels is being stimulated by small jolts of lightning. Um, and you can see kind of like a goop arranging itself in there. Um, Antoine turns around to look at, back at his notes when an explosion appears to shatter the reaction vessel and something is coming out of the uh, the chamber. <laughs> As that is happening, you hear a knock at your door. Your lab door. Uh, who, who is it? Just a minute. You've, Antoine. You've chosen a bad time. I have some news for you. You were interested in that stone. I found another one. Oh, uh, he's like looking over his shoulder at the whatever's unfolding. Uh, I, uh, yeah, that, that's incredible. Uh, you, perhaps you could uh, leave a note or something. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. A note slides under the door, and you hear footsteps walk away. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, he pockets the note quickly, and then uh, uh, tries. Actually, I'll open the note. It is details describing a stone similar to the one that awakened you, providing you the intelligence. Becoming the ooze that you are. Near a town of Fandolin. And it details a carriage, though. It's heading that way soon. And it gives you Does directions. It say, like, how soon? Tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, he, he looks back at, like, the steam and uh, just general detritus of the explosion behind him. Uh, and he's like, uh, perhaps this is, uh, this will have to be decommissioned. Uh, he presses the no the envelope into his book of notes, making uh, a note of the directions to the carriage. 
and he prepares to like scuttle the lab. All right. Meanwhile, in another section of Neverwinter, Crass, are you ready? Indeed. In another section of Neverwinter, there is a small home in the more noble side, the more noble district, more upper upper class. Describe your office, your home office, Crass. Home office, as you look inside of it, is mainly going to be littered with random illustrations and carvings of different scenes or what would be like points of interest maybe individuals and names that you see along uh it looks very cluttered not organized very well and uh you can tell that there's been it's in a lot of disarray and constantly being looked over as if putting something away is unheard of single room one desk not even really a place to really sleep other than maybe along the papers themselves. There is a knock at your front door. It was one of those nights. It was the one knock of those at the door. <laughs> Crass will billows from your look cigar. up. <laughs> the smoke kind of comes up from my face. Crass looks up. You know what? that you know that the rule of not to disturb you is very well known. This could only be your assistant, Watson. Watkins, your assistant, Watkins. Watkins. There we go. What? Very different. Completely different. <laughs> it's no, uh, no semblance. Uh, come on in, Watkins. Watkins opens the door, carrying a number of folders. Inspector Crass. Watch the I, paper. I have, oh, what is this? Okay, all right. He kind of like scoots around. I have something for you. Does it work? Yes, you sent me, well, rents due, and you asked for interesting cases. I believe I have a few for you to look over. You're going to need to take one of these, or the eviction notice is coming. It's been pretty dry lately. Might as well take it all. What do we got? All right, first up. A woman is complaining about the tieflings in the city, says they're conspiring to take over, and she wants to mount an offensive. There is some very colorful and racist language in this report. I see. Interesting way to perceive these things. Does she have any link to these tieflings? Any personal vendetta? Are they in her area? I think she just doesn't like them. Sometimes it's just cut and dry. What's the other? A husband, known violent drunk. His wife is dead. He says that the neighbor used magic to possess him to do it. Mm. He has a record. They always do. I see. Well. Or his, excuse me, his wife was killed. And he says that his neighbor used magic to convince him to do it. Hmm. Any of these specifically smell more interesting to you, Watkins? Last Before one. The racist throughout. Last, oh, last one. In the town of Fandolin, a man grew an extra limb from his back and choked himself with it. No magic was involved. Oh, my. Now, that one is interesting. I thought you'd say that, so here's the case. And passage to Fandolin. You leave tomorrow morning. What? what? Uh, I'm busy. With this case. I told you, rents, rents do. And I'm not going to be available. I will not be joining you. Okay. Well, what do we pay you for, Watkins? To be uh, a wonderful deliverer of my messages is the way. That's correct. <laughs> Watkins stares at you awaiting something, but you're unsure what. Thank you. You forgot, didn't you? <laughs> uh, 
looking around hesitantly in other ways, trying to find where a calendar is or anything like that. Tossing <laughs> up papers. You see a calendar and on it, Watkins marriage in two days. Uh, how was the wedding? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he pinches, he, he pinches the bridge of his nose. You're still invited. I know you're more interested in this case, but. Well, uh, if I attend, then maybe you won't be the one blaming his neighbor for killing his wife. Crass as ever. See you when you get back. I, indeed. He leaves. All right. How do I pronounce? Sure got myself in a jam this time. <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I pronounce your character's name? Beef. Kachatruk. Kachatruk. I was close. Kachatruk. All right. What are you doing in the city? What does an average day look like in the city of Neverwinter for um, Kachatruk? Uh despising that he has to be on this plane of existence, wishing that he was back in his home of uh, the Astral Sea. Um, not very <laughs> fond of these uh, istics. These istics. Um, <laughs> there it oh, is. Here we go. Speaking of which, <laughs> before, before you continue, inspiration. All of you have an ins All of you start with an inspiration because I have a bad habit of remembering to give out inspirations. So all of you start with that way you spend them and it reminds me that you don't have one. So all of you start with an inspiration. Continue. Continue. I feel like I'm going to hear that a lot. Um, I'd say most of it is looking for any... Well, he was sent for psionic desert disturbances that were not Githyanki. Uh that he, he, they would know that we're not Githyanki. And once he gets notice of it, he goes out and dispatches of them. You have he heard... You have heard word of strange psionic energy from the town of Fandolin. I'd be heading there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Akilos? Akilos. 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 What is a day in Neverwinter like for your character? Well, um, when he's in Neverwinter, Echilos usually spends his time with his uh, young dryad paramour, um, Sasha, in the uh, in the central park in town. Um, he uh, just <laughs> recently uh, left her behind at her great oak tree, and uh, he has an intention to go buy her a gift in Fandolin. All right. I. What are you planning on getting? <laughs> Don't make me come up with something. What would you give to Dryad? Oh, um, <laughs> that's a very good question. Could be flowers, and, uh, right? Soils. I guess if you seeds. Something to decorate I mean, they, a tree. They, they, they certainly do want that. Babe, I got you something <laughs> to drive a knife into the tree and start carving into it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Immortalized. <laughs> Immortalized. <laughs> I love you. Be, be the equivalent of like showing up to your girl's house with a tattoo gun and be like, I got you, babe. <laughs> Don't you like it? All right. Anything else for me, Achilles? Well, um, he's a stocky young satyr gentleman clad in chain mail. Um, always has an unfading smile on his face and some rather handsome backwards swept spiraled horns. Um, he, uh, at this point, has finished redressing himself from Faye frolicking in the park and is uh, making his way toward the uh, stage area, I believe. All right. You have heard of uh, help needed, guards needed for a caravan to Fandolin. A dwarf by the name of Gungeon Rockseeker is recruiting people to watch over a caravan. Uh, Elrin, what is a day like for you in Neverwinter? Let's see. So, Elrin is not native to Neverwinter. Um, 
So he's probably staying in one of the more upper class inns. Okay. Um, it's uh, less active during the day, but uh, far more invested in the state of the city at night. Um, almost fascinated by its nightlife and how the moon seems to be giving him messages more than usual. His, uh, of course, his flight to Neverwinter was prompted by a vision of the moon informing him that he may have been caught red-handed stealing his cloak of billowing from what turned out to be a dragon. So he's trying to pay more attention to any signals that the moon might be trying to tell him something. I'm guessing that one of these signals is presenting itself recently. A uh, sign for you to head to Fandolin and to meet with Gungeon Rockseeker. All right. I believe that's everyone. So as all of you converge on the carriage that will eventually head out to Neverwinter, you spot a number of NPCs. Stephanie will be driving our carriage. Gundren, the man himself. And Sildar Hallwinter is the first to greet you as you arrive. Sean Bean. It is. It is. He's gonna die. So we're gonna we'll, already. We'll play a <laughs> we're gonna play a night we're gonna play a nice game of uh of uh, guess the actor that I used for the art. <laughs> you get an exp you get an inspiration for guessing correctly. Um Super hard mode. Try to guess where Stephanie came from. Hint, it's a fictional character. <laughs> While you do that. Uh, say Mary Jane Watson. Negative. <laughs> uh, from a video game? No. That's all I have. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and spoil it because there's no way you'll guess. It is... A, I requested a video game representation of Wendy from the Wendy's fast food chain. Oh, wow. Very oh, nice. my God. It makes so much sense now that I look at it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, Sean, Bean, I mean, Sildar approaches you, says, you here to guard the caravan? Uh, uh, so. You folks. I, I haven't looked over the... Uh, Sorry. Contract, but I believe that that is the, the capacity in which we are supposed to serve. All right. The job's simple. Me and Gundren are going to be heading out tonight. You folks are going to be heading out in the morning. We want to get there early. Gundren's excited about something, getting his map to Fandolin. Irrelevant. You folks are going to be washing over this here caravan. He puts his hand on, the, on one of the crates and the supplies inside. Feel free to pull from the supplies to feed yourselves for the road. It'll come out of your pay when you get there. And we'll see you in Fandalu. Any questions? May I incite uh, Gundren when uh, Sildar is talking about, you know, he's excited about something. Like, what are they hiding or what's going on here? Sure. Gundren Rockseeker is holding a scroll case close to his chest and he he can't put away this grin you can see his hands shaking his feet he is definitely excited about something okay. Some, he's definitely excited about something with this scroll case uh, oh I he's sighed. talking oh go ahead Trevor. Oh, sorry uh, go ahead. I sidle up to him and I say uh, May I inquire as to the contents of that uh, case you seem to be clutching so carefully? It's a map. I believe I finally found the lost mines. Uh, does that ring a bell? It does not. Uh, 
What mines are you referring to? Oh, you haven't heard of the Lost Mines? Tell you what. We're ready to head out, Sildar. Yep. Confirmation. Ready to head out. I will tell you all about it when you get to Fandolin. That sounds fair. I will see you there. Stay safe. While they're talking, I would like to kind of loop around and take a better look at this scroll case to see if I can discern whether or not it seems to be authentic. The scroll case is well made, leather. You might recognize. Yeah, sure. Roll me an investigation. First roll of the session. Here we go. 18. You recognize that leather. You've seen the shop isn't far from where you live. Very high quality. Promising. Does anyone seem to be around here paying undue attention to the caravan? Um, no. People people coming and going. They're not really paying you any attention. But as you look around, you yeah. notice Stephanie is having a conversation with the two oxen that are pulling that are going to be pulling the carriage now at first it comes off uh benji can you turn my stream down i guess or turn me down uh let, let me try uh, to see what i can do about that uh does this work any better we'll see you notice that stephanie is having a conversation with the oxen at first it seems like harmless talking like you would to a pet, but the conversation sort of shifts to, oh, it's starting again. Benji. Do you have, um, what's it called? Noise suppression on. Headphones? Headphones. Uh, yeah, I have uh, headphones on. You have headphones on? Wow. <laughs> so I'm coming through your ears to the microphone. And you can microphone. still hear. <laughs> Okay, well, work on it. Uh, Stephanie is having a conversation with the two oxen, and it seems like she's talking to pets, but this conversation s starts to shift towards a back and forth. She starts asking questions like, did you eat all of your breakfast? Did you and Tyson get along this morning? Questions like that. And as you're watching her, you notice that she wears a ring, a magical ring, that might be providing the magic necessary to do this. Roll an arcana, somebody. Ooh. Uh, I would like to volunteer as tribute. Go ahead. Do it. Will it roll over there? Oh, just finished rolling. Huge. Oh. 21. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say you recognize this ring is magical and that it could be providing the uh, the effect, but with the 21, you recognize that ring as a ring of animal influence, which provides her the ability to not only speak with animals, but a number of other things as well. I, uh, I approach from the like back of one of the ox, oxen because I don't know how to treat these animals, and I say to her, uh, that uh, that's a lovely ring you have there. Thanks, y'all. It's a gift from my grandmother. Uh, your mother must have been, grandmother must have been uh, quite the uh, enchanter to make something quality. She puts a hand on her hip. Well, she certainly was enchanting. She laughs at her own joke. I I like uh, wobble a little trail? bit like flubber. Aren't you the cutest thing? What are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I suppose I'm what uh, your kind uh, knows as plasmoid. What do you mean by my kind? Uh, you appear to me, at least, to be a human. I'm uh, just... Am I mistaken? I'm just joshing you. Okay, okay. 
I must say it is truly remarkable that you are friends with your uh, with your pack animals. It's such a refreshing surprise to see someone working in harmony with their animals. Oh, they're my babies. Would you like an introduction? Oh, most certainly. This here is Tyson. Don't mind him. He's a bit grumpy this morning. And this here is Bailey. She's a sweetheart. Tyson and Bailey. Well, it is a pleasure to meet the both of you. I can understand why you would be a little grumpy, Mr. Tyson. It was wet this morning. The two oxen grumble. Mm. It's not that wet. They continue to chew the hay from their trough. Well, if there's anything else y'all need, give a holler. I appreciate that, Miss Stephanie. Uh, uh, I, I don't suppose they told us how long this journey was going to be or whether we have our own map. Are you asking Stephanie or each other uh, or the party? I, get, I look around to the other players. Uh, Sam, did they uh, say something like that? Just About how long the finish. journey would take? Yes, and yeah. uh, if we have our own means of navigation. It won't matter if we get there or how long it will take. It matters if we get there or not. Those of you... I, I think it does does matter how long it would take. I don't want to spend like 16 years getting somewhere. I mean, I have the lifespan for it. I don't want to do it. Those of you that did... It's vast over-exaggeration. Have no worries. Uh, by your calculations, Crass, Vandalin is about a four days travel. Five at tops. Indeed. Four, four days, my friend. We'll get uh, there just fine. So I uh, take a quick look at the cart, see what we've got, what we're protecting, and if there's enough food for all of us for that time, that sort of thing. There are a number of crates of foodstuffs and a couple of fancy gadgets from Neverwinter, a couple novelty items. We'll say one crate is full of novelty items specific to Neverwinter, water clocks, um, stained glass lanterns and some jewelry the rest is foodstuffs and alcohol does there seem to be anything not valuable but like interesting and relatively unguarded hmm no <laughs> everything okay. is unguarded when you are the guard not at this moment <laughs> okay so many i will have to wait Right. Well, I, I can't see any issue that would uh, prevent us from getting on our way tomorrow. To... Uh, it's like crass. it can be a fun trip. Fun is a word for it indeed. Another job, another place to be, and another group of people. And I agree with the lizard. This shall be an interesting one for sure. Uh, Crass is going to immediately start looking over at Gundren and them when they're talking kind of at a ways and see if he can pick up any information from a distance as he's kind of as Gundren and Sildar are talking. Okay. Sildar is having a conversation with Gundren, pleading with him to take it easy and to be safe on the road to do the to take cautious paths. But Gundren is insisting that they go quickly, ride through the night, and be a little uh, be a little risky in order to get there as fast as possible. Interesting. And then on the uh, the carts and things, do I notice any sort of damage or anything more than just wear and tear that could indicate that? There might be some issues or that these are running into problems consistently. Hmm. Roll a... That one would be perception. It looks to be in good condition. Relatively new cart. 
The wheels have not splintered much since. Not used much. You seem to have a rather astute sense of observation. You've uh, been around an explosion recently. You still smell of not fire-based chemicals? Uh, uh, forgive me, this is a... Uh... This is a way that us plasmoids uh, smell sometimes, I assure you. Uh, and then you've got some glass in your it, in you. Uh, well, uh, it, uh, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. Uh, uh, there you, always is. As you may know, uh, we, we uh, eat by engulfing some things in our environment. And in this case, uh, there happened to be some glass uh, on the way here, so... Uh, no, you're supposed to drink the wine, not eat the wine glass after, right? Hey, I'm, I'm afraid uh, al alcohol simply uh, does not have the same effect on my biology as it does uh, for you. What, uh, what aspects of glass do you find nutritious? <laughs> uh, I suppose I would not call it the nutrition, per se. A uh, hobby, per se? Uh, it is... Uh, ew. How do I explain engulfing to uh, one who only eats? <laughs> it, it, would, it would take... Uh, uh, perhaps this would be the subject of one of my future essays, uh, to educate uh, your kind. But uh, that will have to... Take a backseat to my other research. Fear not, I am intrigued upon learning plenty about you. Hey. Have you been to your home plane? There you don't have to eat. Uh, is that the, the plane that you are from? Indeed. And uh, forgive me, where where are you from? <sighs> that would be too complicated to explain. So I'm from the Astral Sea. To an ish dick. That uh, <laughs> seemed fairly simple to explain. <laughs> I agree. It did not take that long. <laughs> I will not explain to an ish dick. <laughs> not yet. You will refer to me as Knight Kacharak. Nothing less. Got it. Uh, Herb knows... Charak. Um, um, and we don't have talk the about lizard. his nose. He's probably we have, upset we about have it. the goop. We have the goat, and we have the other people and the two oxen. Is, is this the extent of our party? Are we waiting on anyone? The oxen are Tyson and Bailey. Move. Yes. They and grumble. Of course, we can't forget Miss Stephanie. Howdy, y'all. Gundren oh, and Sildar has, have set off at this point. Are and any if, of them wearing, like, red cloaks or red uh, tunics or anything like that? Red? Uh, I just need to make sure they're not wearing red because we might never see them again. They are not wearing red. Red shirts. Um, Sildar is in splint armor. Heavily armored, and he has a sword. His armor is decorated with griffin motifs. Uh, history check somewhere. DC is going to be 15. Do I? Actually, I might I'm not going to do We'll do 15. <laughs> I have a plus four if somebody else doesn't have beat that. Uh, I will help you. Uh... Oh, actually, I'm not proficient. Never mind. So much what? mist, so much mist lore. You've heard of the Waterdeep Griffin Cavalry. It's mm -hmm. possible that that emblem, that that is what that emblem represents or what his armor is uh, signifying based off his Water Davian accent and his Griffin Cav design, designs. Need. All right, if nobody has anything else, are we ready to hit the road? 
I believe so. All right. And uh, I, I, watch, I, watching as they took off, uh, I imagine they probably took off at a quickened pace, and Sildar failed to convince him to go slowly. Correct. So just to just to recap, Sildar and Gungeon are leaving the night before. You folks are leaving in the morning, so they'll have about a ten hour head start on you. Perfect. Over the night, uh, Crass will post up rather close to the cart, uh, just kind of off to the side, to where he's a. Uh, got a decent view to make sure nothing happens to it overnight nice the city isn't safe it's another night now i'm thinking Rorschach. sometimes i feel like it's raining when it's not quiet <laughs> oh the monologue <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm th- now i'm thinking I'm rorschach sometimes. from uh from watchman <laughs> all right on the road again as you set out on the road, I've got a little transitional scene. Let me find it. It's another road. As you prepare like for the, the <laughs> as you prepare for the journey, the cold winter frost still lingers, but the first hints of spring are in the air. The road stretches before you, glistening morning dew coating its cobbled surface. On the second day, you encounter an overturned cart with no sign of the owner. Noting the location, you press on. On the next day, you continue, the trees thinning as your path cuts through rolling hills with grass full of budding plants. As you come around a bend, the woods press close to the trail with a steep embankment embankment, excuse me, and dense thickets on either side. Roll me a perception or survival. I think I'm the best at perception. If anyone... Uh, does like, anyone have more than five? Nope. Like, That's do. you. All right, we'll do that. A 17. You spot it. On the road, there is a thin wire that stretches across either side. And connected to those wires, in the bushes is a barrel of some kind. It looks dangerous. Everybody, we uh we have a minor issue. If you look ahead on your left, you can th- sort of see what looks to be a barrel attached to a string. This is what we call in the old country not optimal. You have very little time to react to this tripwire. You can either jump off the wagon to avoid whatever's coming, or you can make an attempt to range attack the wire and prevent the explosion altogether. Hmm. Um. There is also the option of stopping the oxen before they trigger the wire, but this would be uh, a very difficult animal handling check. What will you do? Is there, um, is the, like, uh, barrel, uh, up against something, or is there, like, base near it, or? It is buried in shrubbery. Very little time to it's react. Buried in shrubbery. Um, so I couldn't use telekinesis to shove it backward. Right? That would almost certainly trigger whatever the okay. barrel is. Um, Iculus, are you good with animals? Not very. Miss Stephanie, are you going to be able to stop the cart? There's a trap ahead. Not enough time to warn her. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Well, I could could try to put them to sleep. Uh, <laughs> hmm. um, whatever we want to do for who's got a good range attack I only have a, I have a plus four uh, I could try to snap it I have a plus five to hit with my javelin <laughs> try and hit a point of a spear against <laughs> a, a, a... Um, you can try uh I, if, oxen, if, if, if no one else is going to uh, do uh, attack it, then I will probably attempt to grapple one of the oxen. <laughs> and that, like, I'm not trying to coax it. I'm trying to, like, just send it <laughs> like <laughs> a steering wheel. Um, I, I, 
guess can I chuck a javelin then? All right, chuck a javelin. I want to. Um, we got to make a decision. Not, not one. Oh no. my gosh. <laughs> what were you saying, Benji? Go ahead. Can I cast sleep on the oxen to get them to? They have too much health for that. I'm sure. What What is your What's your sleep? Twenty. Well, my sleep. Would you roll it, don't you? Yeah. You know that the oxen will probably have too much health. You may get one of them with a good roll, but unlikely to get both of them. Okay. The javelin flies towards the wire and it misses greatly. Everything. No, we only get one attack. Not everybody just gets to start throwing stuff. Can I, can I still attempt to grapple one of the oxen? It would not have an effect unless you got animal handle, animal handling. Okay. You wouldn't be able to uh, stop I, them fast enough. Okay. Ladies Try and gentlemen, telekinetically brace for it. One of the <laughs> Ladies or, and gentlemen, brace for impact. Yeah. Everything. Is it? Everything yeah. seems to move in slow motion as an explosion erupts from either side of the vehicle. A tidal wave of heat and force flings away anything and any body unfortunate enough to be nearby. When the haze of fire and smoke dwindles, all that remains of the carriage is a charred, blackened shell. From the hazy smoke, goblins emerge. Antoine, pull yourself you together. Green skins. He reassembles his... Well, place your characters near the cart. You are all prone and take some damage. Dexterity saving throw for failure means five. Save for half. The DC, what did I set the DC? Sorry. 13. DC 13 dex save for half. Damage is five. Oh, I am fine. Okay. I am absolutely fine. Okay. All right. Okay, and with that, you're all on the ground. I'm sorry. You said DC 10 for and five if you fail? Uh, it's a DC 13. If you fail, take five. If you pass, take two. Regardless, you're still prone as the carriage has flung you to the ground. Let's, um, myself. Okay. Through the smoke and flames, you hear the voice of a goblin. Ah, I told you it would work, Frick. You doubted me. Look at this carnage. You're an idiot. You destroyed everything. We'll get nothing from this. What? Enough, you two. Heavy blood oh. to head, actually. You, you will you get something. Initiative. Are you calling out to them like that? Yes. Initiative. They know we're here. And, Initiative. Um, how do I, how do oh, I add myself down. to the map? Uh, ditto. You should be able to click your name and drag it over. Did it send my initiative to the... Oh, wow, man. d, &D Beyond. Hey, it's doing it. There. <laughs> it's doing it. It's my first time using it, so... Nice. Hey, initiative. Oh. Did it not send my... This is why you, this uh, is why you, you just should make sure remember to tokens. use, like... <laughs> After this, can someone remind me to give Vigilant Blessing to someone? Because I should have done that. A single character is. can be a lot to manage, I know. <laughs> ah, it's, it's so hard. <laughs> All right. You call out... And the goblins say, hey, they're alive. Kill them. And not all of us are alive. I, I for one, am dead. Please leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. It said it was not it. me being alive. That was just gas escaping. I got a 17 on my initiative. It said it sent it, but I'm just not seeing myself. Did you select your token before rolling? Probably not. Oh. That's for sure what happened. You're going to be over here. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, okay. Still didn't work. 
Click your click your token and then roll initiative. Okay, I'll roll again there. In the meantime, uh, surveying thirteen. Uh, okay. Our our non players. <laughs> did any of them survive? Wendy, she did. Tyson. <laughs> Wendy. <Maybe. laughs> Stephanie survived. Yes. Or actually, oh, no, Stephanie. Yeah, but... You can't tell if Stephanie survived. She's on the ground at the moment, and the oxen are, are clearly wounded. They may be alive now, but they may or they're alive now, but they may not be for long. Um. Okay. So, like real. If I could not put them to sleep, but uh, whatever that is, killed them would be very sad. Understandable. The where was I? Um, okay, so I have a rule. Whenever you roll initiative, it's whatever puts you on the tracker is the one you use. So if you accidentally forget to click your token, you're going to use whatever the whatever the roll is that puts you on the tracker. That's just to prevent, like, I got this number, re-roll, oh, wait, look, you know, taking the higher number. Just whatever number puts you on the tracker is the one we're going to use. Higher or lower, regardless. No worries at all. Yep. Okay. So the goblin, Dirt, immediately... On his... Oh, no, it's Frack's turn. Excuse me. Ah! They're alive! <laughs> this is going to be fun. Frack tosses a grenade at... Die. I don't... I'm not sure the tokens. Who is this? That's uh, Antoine. Antoine. Roll me a dexterity saving throw as a grenade flies towards the air. Boom, baby! Twelve. Gout, it's a weirdly shaped object. For well, you pass, so three points of damage. Cool. Uh, he's uh, Antoine is looking uh, quite. He, he's becoming less and less opaque by the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Frat calls out, "Ha! Got him!" Dirt yells to the goblin next to him, Piss! Get in there and do some damage. Oh, uh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. Elrin, your turn. Hey, um, is, like, the party skewered from me? The smoke, or? No, you can see him. Okay. Yes, we're gonna start off strong with a bless. Um, just, all right, let's get our lizard, Gith Yankee, and our man bless. Okay, everybody get everybody get that. Yeah, Those of you that have blessed, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, which ones? This grass, Kachat Rook, and then what was the third one? Thank Benji. Grass, uh, Kachat Rook, and um, uh, sorry, Dragonus. What's your character? Aculus. Aculus. Then, uh, yeah. Um. Are these goblins on the the top of a cliff area? Frick has made his way down. Frack is still up top. Dirt and Piss are still up top on the other side. How high is it? 20 feet. All right. Um, can I use my um, telekinesis bonus action to try to yank um, near Wendy down? That's me. Dirt? Dirt. Dirt to hit the dirt. Okay. Right, so that's a DC 13 strength save. 11. Eight. Yoink. All right, 10 feet. Uh, so you're, you're breaking up really bad, Benji. 10 feet? Uh, it's 10 feet. All right, he goes tumbling down the dirt pad, the dirt hill. Will that be your turn? Uh, I'm going to move here so he'll hit me and not Wendy. I'm in charge. Hopefully he'll hit me and not Wendy. All right. 
All it's right. my turn. So I'm gonna gonna stand up. All right. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna move. And I'm gonna dash. Okay. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I. Three. Okay, I'm good right there. Uh, I'll move right here. Um, that is my turn. Okay. On Piss's turn. Oh, geez. Which one? Dirt's like, shoot this one. Oh, geez. Oh, don't shoot that one. All right, it's going to say scimitar, but it's a short bow. For some reason. Oh, I'm using the wrong. Never mind. I'm using the wrong one. Here we go. 14 to hit Elrin. Will not hit. Oh, jeez! The arrow flies past you. I missed. Fire again, idiot. Uh, Aklos. All right. So let's see. I'm not sure. Can I reach that goblin to the right of the cart there that uh that Kachatruk went and ran up next to with my 35 feet? Um, you get. 35 feet, so seven squares. Yes, sir. You should be able to. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and charge right on over. It wasn't very nice what you did to Miss Stephanie and Tyson. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a, a Warhammer attack. Okay. A 23 hits. All right, Jeez. let's see. For Why six did... points of damage. Man, I forgot health bars. We'll get we'll have health bars in the future. <laughs> six points of damage? Yes, sir. Ah, right, that fucking hurts. Say again, Chris. I said I don't need health bars. <laughs> Will that be your turn, Aklos? Yes, sir. Crass. All right. Crass is going to kind of shake off some of the, the dirt. It's like, yeah, it's my favorite outfit, too. Could you and look, look around. I'm going to kind of see which one of these looks to be somewhat the leader. I know we've got this guy. If you can't here, tell at this he... point, <laughs> if you can't tell at this point, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's barking orders down here. Dirt appears so, to be the leader the one for who sure. Keeps saying, "Oh, geez, yeah. which one do I hit?" He's the I was mad. The one over here that looks like engulfed and flamed looked very daunting. He certainly is. Uh, dirt definitely seems to be the one in charge. Perfect. Could use some help pounding dirt into dirt. Crash is going to get up and approach. Dirt prone. Dirt. Does it does it knock him prone? Oh, but he did fall twenty feet. Yeah, that's valid. Um, it is a hill, so he kind of like rolled. But yeah, we'll say he's prone. Awesome. All right, Crass is gonna get up and spend the rest of his movement coming over here, shaking off this dirt. He's gonna look over to Dirt himself, <laughs> looking down. It's like. All right, this is going to happen, you see. You've been awfully rude. Just we hit as hard as you can. Hey, hey, I, I am the investigator here. Why and did you do this? <laughs> and do you need to stop it? Will that be your turn? Law types are always so <laughs> Wait, wait, are you asking Are you asking him a question? Uh, I'm, so I'm going to look over to Dirt while he's on the ground. It's like, you can either... Continue with what you're doing now, or stop while you are not dead. Or you will be in the dirt. Dirt. More so Oof. than the dirt you're in. Tough one. You can do an intimidation for that, but it's going to be a tough one. All the goblins are still standing. Oh my. Yeah, that's... that's... Oh, no, no, he's prone. Irrelevant. <laughs> oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I got it. it took me a second. <laughs> That's the turn. Uh, he they, says, they suck my issues. dick, lizard. <laughs> All right. Boil the crime first. 
and twelve. You're a up. genius to see that coming. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action bite him. Quick. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where is that? I can't find it. Um. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, okay. <laughs> Why isn't this bringing the prompt? To hit it reminds me of training day. <laughs> Suck my dick, bitch. That's what you said to me, right? Where is it? Three? Uh, 15 to hit. 15. Hit. No, does not. Sorry. Does not hit the. Does not hit the dirt. Prone, you have advantage. And you're blessed. Valid. A lot of things going on here to make this hit happen. All right, we'll roll that again then on the correct one. Sorry, let me go back to my actions. Bam, and then add a d4. If that's an 11 or whatever the other hit was, add a d4 for one. 16. 16. Ah, missed it by one. All good. You bite into him, but your teeth do not pierce the armor. Antoine, you're up. All right, between dirt and I don't know who this one is. Or, and the name uh, plates should be up. Can you guys see the name plates? No. Nope. Neg Sadness. Oh. What about now? Oh, Frick. Oh, well, yes. Frick. Between dirt Heck. and Frick, who is more fricked up? Frick, Frick is it, about bad. Frick is looking rough at the moment. Okay. So you see, like, from inside Antoine's head, like, two little sticks come out. And they become like angry eyebrows. Um, and he does like a kip up, kind of like a wacky, wavy, inflatable arm flailing tube man. Uh, and I use half my movement to get up. He, like, from his wrist and his armor, this like wire deploys and it fans out kind of like a mylar blanket. And I'm going to cast. Uh, Create bonfire, but electrical on uh, free. All right. Communicate D and D Beyond. Uh, for seven damage, or I mean, uh, it's a DC fourteen dex. When you cast a spell, it makes a dex save. Here we go. Make sure I got the right stat block here. Failed. He takes seven damage. Ow. He is near death. And uh, I will move like so. Uh, the, the cart is destroyed. You must now protect the VIP, which is me. Oh, no, it's not. Sval, you're all below me. All right, will that be your turn? What is blow you? No one wants to blow you. All right. Frick draws his two, well, has his two daggers drawn and is looking at Aklos. He says, I'm going to eat your fucking babies. And Frack says, you're so stupid. They don't even have their children here. What, are you going to bring them back to the hideout, wait for them to give birth? <laughs> hey, you shut the fuck up. I sound scary as shit right now. The two of them continue to you bicker. Don't. They spend, both of them, I didn't realize their turns were back to back. Both of them spend their turns throwing rocks at each other. Oh, so I dare you to break into a Gizyanki cat crash. You won't if, make it past the guards. If he ends his turn on that thing, he oh. takes another. <laughs> yeah, forgot about he the He might modifier. decide not to do that. Oh, well, he'll he'll provoke I'm regardless. Yeah, he might provoke from Kachat. It would not be fun. He's going to provoke from Kachat. All right, we're going to unsheathe the sword. 20. Down, I would imagine. 11 damage? 11 damage. Uh. <laughs> All right, Dirt's. Him. Yes, that nice. kills him. All right, Dirt stands up. He's going to put in the work. You uh, seem covered in the dirt. And I would imagine a 20 hits Elrin. Oh, yes, that, that is so rude. Yeah, it hits. Three points of damage as he wildly swings his scimitars at you. Barking order at piss to continue firing. Elrin, you're up. 
You seem like nice goblin. Just don't do what he says. Maybe you can survive this. All right. Um, does he is uh dirt injured at all? Doesn't no. If he is, I didn't mark it. Okay, so the fall not damage him. He tumbled. Hey, let's just um. Tap. Do you need me to check no. back? Um, I'm just gonna use toll the dead on him. Okay, so wisdom. So if he's if he's not damaged by the fall, it won't do much. But he failed. Right. Awesome. Uh, he was not missing any of his hit points, so roll. Wonderful. That okay, means damage. For one point of damage. Will that be your turn? Oh, next turn. <laughs> next turn. <laughs> Kachat. All right. Um, so this is just like a hill, or is it like an actual cliff? It is difficult. This square is difficult terrain. These hill squares are difficult terrain. Okay. So I'd still be able to make it up. Yeah, it looks yeah, like it. Okay. Yeah, I will do that exact line and move right here. Um, um then I will um pull my silver sword out again. I'm ready. Twenty two. For He's... sixteen. Ouch. He's down. Uh, nice. And uh past turn. Oh, jeez. Which one again? The same one! Remember, you can survive if you don't do what he said. Ow. Oh, jeez. Okay. I missed again. <laughs> Fucking useless. Hey, close, you're up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Good timing, I suppose. Can you bonk this one? Or he's gonna bonk me very hard. Did you see where my wife said in chat, <laughs> Sam? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, the cat restarted your computer? Yeah. Um, Welcome back. Looks, looks like Frack is down, so I don't need to try and jump up there. Um, what's the goblin to the left of Stephanie? Is that is that piss? That is dirt. No, dirt, yeah. We're going to close in on dirt. Oh, I should have done that in a while. I think you should have listened to my companion when he told you to leave. And here comes a Warhammer attack. Wait, do I have to click for that? 15, it looks 15 like. hits? Oh, you have, uh, you have Bless also. Oh, nice. Yeah, I forgot about that. A 15 hits? And why does it keep rolling two dice? One of them is your two-handed. Oh, okay. Are you wielding this with one hand or two? One hand. I have my shield. All so, right. Uh, seven damage. All right. So your Warhammer digs into Dirt's shield and causes some arm strain. Will that be your turn? Yes, sir. Crass. All right. Well, can't say I didn't warn you, little one. To go with this, he's standing now, correct? He is standing. Oh, uh, natural 24, 14 damage with the bite. I oh. believe God, I... he is dead. He's down. <laughs> oh, piece of shit lizard. Oh my god, he just he just tore his throat out. Don't let the lizard get near you. He's fine. Later for questioning. Oh. Wait, nope, is that was that non-lethal? <laughs> no, no, no. I guess I should have asked about any. Was that were any of these non-lethal? <laughs> I gotta remember that. Just gonna look down. Uh, well, we still have one Paris left. Paris is thrown out non-lethally. And then, <laughs> uh, and with that, we can continue the con combat with Antoine. But Piss will be throwing down his weapon, weapon and surrender. He even like put, he even like crouches and in, in like crouches down and puts his hands over his head. Oh, jeez! Don't hurt me. Don't look. Don't move from where you are. 
Oh, jeez. I want. Uh, we should question this one. And do, do uh, we should also rope? stabilize our compatriots. I had plans for all four of these goblins, and Piss is the one that had to be sur the one that survived. <laughs> Piss seemed like the one who was just kind of being peer pressured into. I, I look at dirt. What's that dirt? Still alive? Just <laughs> clinging on to life? <laughs> <laughs> They're all dead. Fra Frank Frack and dirt are dead. Piss remains crouched down with his head between his knees and his hands on his head. Oh, gee. As Crass approaches, does Piss seem to live up to his namesake? <laughs> You are unsure. Indeed. I would like to leave it that way. Giving him a quick scan, you're unsure why his name is Piss. Crass will grab him by the shoulders. Ah, jeez. Now listen here. I'll tell you what, you see. This was not a very nice thing you did. Now you've got yourself in a jam. Coughs from the smoke of your us. cigar. <laughs> Don't like that? Like I'll get a little more of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Oh, why'd you do that, huh? Why'd you take down our little thing? We had one job, and you're really making things, making those barely visible. Huh? Are you not getting what I'm saying? Got all these ears, but no listening. Oh, jeez. We out of Quick. combat? This shit is, we are out of combat, yes. Stephanie okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think he has a favorite. Stephanie is fine. <laughs> Stephanie I, is fine. I like Wendy's. I love a Baconator. <laughs> Okay, that, well, I'm not going to judge you for that down. badly. I'm judging you, but not much. Um, oxen, uh, how badly are they in? They have some deep shrapnel wounds that will prevent them from carrying the shell of this cart. This cart is immobile anyway. With a medicine check, these oxen will be travel ready in an hour. I think I... Who's the best at medicine? I think it might be me. I also am not, uh, I don't have proficiency in medicine. Neither but do I. The best cleric. I've not been very good at anything we've been asked to roll. <laughs> after, <laughs> after you. Hey, well, I'll cast guidance on myself and uh, try some medicine. I'm ready. This is guidance of before barley and tyson will be fine and they will be able to awesome. they will be able to survive the trip merely a flesh wound stephanie gets up and dusts herself off i declare that was eventful it's okay the oxen are fine she she hugs she, she hugs a close. Thank you so much. You <laughs> saved you saved my life. Well, I am just happy that casualties are not as bad as they may have been. And the life of my oxen. I want you to have this. She takes off her ring and gives it to you. Are are you sure, Miss Stephanie? I mean, don't you need it to speak with your oxen? I have other means, dear. Please take it. Thank you. That that is very kind of you. Yes, I, I'm sure your uh, little uh, dryad companion will be uh, very happy you did this. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> <laughs> you, you cut out at like the worst time possible. <laughs> um, oh. what's going on with piss? Oh, geez. Can you get over here, please, and ask this goblin questions in a less intellectual tone? <laughs> ah, if I must. We do need him alive, though, so he doesn't need no-nos as well. 
Wait. Oh, oh geez. I need my nose. Oh geez. How about your ears? You don't need those either. No. I mean, he kind no, of No, I does. need I need those. Jeez. Uh one of those fellows mentioned something about a hideout. <laughs> yes, let's let's start there. Huh? Where is where is your hideout? It's that oh. way. Oh well I didn't even have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll when I call for it. I was gonna we can say, do if, this. If, if someone he, else is gonna roll, I got a plus five, but I'll give him advantage. Is, uh, does he also, point in a direction, or does he just say that way? He points north. How about uh, we take you to your hideout? Did you guide us there? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, they'll kill us lucky. both. Jeez. You're lucky that we have more friendly friends here. <laughs> um, is there anything on the goblins? So if they're interrogating uh, Piss, I'm going to be rifling through some pockets uh, <laughs> due to uh, compulsive needs to do so. Indeed. Um, yes, there is loot on the goblins. Are we ready for loot, or do we have more questions for Piss or I'm Stephanie? Gonna look, I'm going to look to Piss. And, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Crass's eyes are going to get real wide. You see, like, it starts to water a little bit. He's just like, I understand you've probably got a pretty hard life, my friend. But we're oh. going to be here to help and make sure, because we care about you. And we want oh, you we to don't. help us Stop to help it. you. Oh, jeez. Will you, will you, That's will nice. you help us, Piss? Oh, jeez. Oh, I suppose. Thank you, Piss. <laughs> and his eyes go back to normal, wipes it off. All right. Lizard, you uh, all right, he's under our slot. control now. <laughs> you can tell by his scrappy clothes of hand-me-downs and terrible demeanor that he's definitely the bottom of the food chain. Little sympathy goes a long way with you, humanoids. Well, considering we were sent this way to do a job, I think perhaps we should see if anything is intact after the explosion. Agreed. Uh, Antoine is like, Seeing if he can salvage or learn anything from the uh, whatever detonated to harm us. Roll a. Oof, man, this one's going to be another history. Um, you have alchemy? Uh, I have proficiency in alchemist supplies. Then I'll give you advantage on this one. History? Yep. Nice. 21. You got it. Stand by. Uh, smoke powder is an alchemical substance originally created by gnomes. It is a coarse black grain that explodes when exposed to fire. Water renders the substance completely inert. Smoke powder is also known as gunpowder. Fascinating. Uh, is there any residue that I can collect for Plenty. analysis? I'm yeah. okay. I guess we're ready for loot. <laughs> I guess we're ready for loot. Frick carries a dagger that appears to be bleeding from its blade. Frack, tried the, it. That's the demolition powder. expert, carries a smoke powder grenade and a bomber's kit. And dirt carries three potions of healing. Nobody touch this uh, satchel of powder. It's a, an incredibly unstable uh, compound, uh, only to be handled by careful hands. Oh, jeez. Extruding a pseudopod. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Based on what we just experienced, I am not inclined to disagree. Uh, uh, Speaking of which, uh, what were you and your very rude compatriots doing here? Raiding and stuff. Uh, oh, just that, okay. Just for like survival or were you expecting someone today? Ba he, sh he shrugs his shoulders. Boss demands it. Says we got to bring him stuff from the caravans and the carriages that come through here. Who might this boss Jeez. 
Clark. Clark. Who is this Clark? Describe Mr. your boss. Uh, he's big and furry. Jeez. Clark, you said. Is that the name? Clark. I put it in the chat. Clark. With a G. Writes it down on notepad. Um, he's big and furry. He's got huge teeth. Uh, roll a nature or history to identify oh, the, the creature he describes. I have very little idea how little that narrows it down, Piss. <laughs> Sorry. narrows it down quite a lot. Sorry, geez. Based off his description, goblin, goblin hideout, big teeth, big creature ruling over goblins. He must be Hot referring goblin. to a bugbear. Oh, it's a bugbear. No, oh. da, damn it. That's what I meant, a bugbear. So close. No, no one would have thought of goblin. A 50 50 shot. <laughs> Bug pair gob or hobgoblin. I forgot they're not furry. It's fine. For about two years, I was mixing up owlbear and bugbear. Uh... Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, did we get all the loot? Um, you do notice a wrecked carriage slightly north that hasn't been fully picked clean yet. Let's change that. Uh, does anyone want to go investigate the carriage, or should I just go and uh, take what I can find? Uh, you I, can go on ahead. I will watch our prisoner. I, uh, I will go with you. Perhaps we can yeah. find out who, who owns the carriage and at least provide them news of what happened. Yes, that would be good. I course, think I know who stuff. owns this carriage. Well, no. Hopefully not. All right, then, let's... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go over, I think. Um, uh, um, I will join okay. checking out this other one as well. Um, and then as I'm leaving, Kachat, uh, why don't you see if we can get any more information about this hideout and Clark's friends while well, I'm gone. Don't yes. worry, Piss. He won't hurt you. Not yet. Not until I'm given the word. Not far yeah. down the road. Sorry, go ahead. I you, were you never know when the word's coming. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> Not far down the road from where the explosion happened, there are two dead horses. Oh. Pinned, pin cushioned with arrows. I think the cause of death was a piercing damage to arrow. I could be wrong. A safe assumption. Keep it up and you might be my assistant. It seems the shallow ravine must be a common place for ambushes. It does look like good place to ambush. If I had to settle down and uh, start a life of crime, I, I would do it here. Not, not that I'm going to do that. It's a short life. You get found out one way or another. Stephanie begins tending to the oxen and bringing them off the road. Crass will start approaching the other uh, carriage. Uh, as we're walking toward the other carriage, you see Antoine like pick up a stone and just uh, say, Dear Traveler, you are approaching a zone of goblin ambush. I suggest that you either turn back or keep your eyes peeled and prepare for combat. He throws it back on the road and that message will repeat stone uh, <laughs> every once in a while. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Crass looks over. A warning, huh? You think they would just set up away from the talking stone? Uh, you, see, <laughs> you, see, you see him like rub his chin and pick up another stone? <laughs> yes, that <laughs> If the other stone has been removed, please be advised that goblins are still active in the area. Be careful. And he throws it in the same area. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay. That'll show him. Redundancy. <laughs> Sometimes the second look is what matters. All right. Investigating this carriage to the north. Indeed. 
The carriage, with a bit of elbow grease or a mending spell, can be fully functional. Inside, there are crates similar to the ones you've been carrying, but not labeled to the same location for delivery. And you're unsure what's in the crates as they are sealed shut. Does this appear to be a carriage close to the one that we were following? You were not following a carriage. You were following oh, Gunjur. Sorry, the cart. You, you were riding in a cart. Uh, Antoine pulls out a crowbar and a hammer. Are there any identifying so, symbols on the crates? So the party was in a was in a carriage being pulled by oxen, and up ahead of you were Gundren and Sildar, who were riding horses. Oh, uh, okay. Who, by the way, that's their horses on the ground that nobody uh, that nobody no investigated. Fresh kills. Fresh is a relative term in this. Uh, as a matter of fact, just make this official. Crass, as you're walking across the road, you notice that both of these horses are the same horses that Sildar and Gundren rode when they traveled ahead of you. You even notice the skull, this scroll case laid on the ground next to the horse, but it is empty. Oh, not to give up that case, uh, like a fight. Are there signs of a struggle like, besides the dead horses? Uh, dead like... horses, arrows, <laughs> and an investigation check. Uh, I will assist you on the investigation. There was a struggle. You see, you can identify <laughs> the tracks belonging to goblins, a human, and a dwarf headed north. In the same direction they that Piss pointed. More like. Hey, Piss. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, did you guys happen to retrieve any other prisoners day last night? Yeah. And uh, were they alive? Uh-huh. And uh, you know where they are? When you left uh... the piece? Yeah, the the humans still at the at the cave, but they took the dwarf to the castle. A castle, castle. huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. And uh have you been to this castle? No. Oh, I'm not you know allowed. Where this castle is. No. I'm not allowed to go there because I'm pissed. Who uh who goes there out of your friends? I don't know. Other, my friends. I don't have any friends. I don't know. I don't know. Jeez. And here's, a, here's another question. How many of the other goblins and bugbears are there besides the ones we've expelled from this plane? Um, more than this many. And he holds up both his hands. More than ten. This narrows it down. Just about infinite numbers, but uh, you know what? Doing his best. Be nice mm -hmm. to him. Oh, uh, do you? You mentioned uh, your uh, fellows uh, would be killing us both if we went to the hideout. I don't suppose they have more traps like the one we just encountered here. Uh, no, but they'll probably just shoot us. Um, when you say, do you mean like with arrows and javelins, that sort of thing? Or... Uh-huh. Right. And uh, why would they do this to you? Because they don't like me. I'm pissed. It's, um, that pisses me off. So, uh... That's we... no way to treat a comrade. Do you have a proposal where uh, where you end up surviving? Any idea? Uh, huh? How we how we get to that? I don't know. What do you mean? Well, it seems uh, that our quarry is in your. Uh... I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let me put it this way, piss. 
we need to get to this hideout and uh, retrieve our hopefully still alive human friend. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems that if you go back, you'll die. And uh, oh yeah, think, definitely. Uh, your best your best chance is to help us out, and we'll, we'll let you live. But then you'll die. Jeez, isn't that no. right? Good chat. It's a gift Yonki will not die. <laughs> if say you say peace. so. Say peace. If you yourself wanted to go there, had to go there, how would you do it if you didn't want to die? Uh, I guess I would just go back and hope they don't kill me. Because so no I'd be going back so. without dirt or frickin' frack. Which I guess is safer just when they're not there. But I don't know. I guess it depends on what have, kind of mood they're in. Did they have plans on eating the human? Gross. Or is it? I don't know. <laughs> um, Interesting. They didn't tell me. I'm pissed. Indeed you are. It has not changed yet. Does this place have, right. like, only one entrance or various uh, ways to get in there? Huh? Your hideout. Well, just one. Is it very uh, bright in your hideout? Lots of torches? Or is it uh, more dark? Yeah. Lots of torches. How... Uh, uh, how old are you, uh, Beast? 19? Jesus. <laughs> I wasn't that ready. <laughs> 19. Well, your mother's maiden name? No. <laughs> your, first, your first pet. Urine. <laughs> I'm going to well, try to crowbar open some of these crates to see what the sitch is. Okay. All right. There are a total of three crates. One of them is food, one of them is alcohol, and one of them is potions and scrolls. Hmm. Oh. We probably oh, geez. need to requisition Scroll. some of these. Uh, can I uh, identify some of the potions and scrolls? You can. Uh, who's ready for loot? Or who's ready to write this down? Or I guess I should type it out. Why not? I've already got it here, I suppose. I can just copy and paste it. There you go. A scroll of long strider, a potion of speed, a scroll of rope trick, unseen servant floating disc, mending. There is a, a basic post poison, a potion of healing, and an oil of sharpness. There's also food stuff. Um, well, actually, that's in the that's in the potions and scroll crate. There's also food stuffs and alcohol in the other crates. Our cart was completely destroyed, right? Yes. Hey, can I take that scroll of mending and try to use it on uh, which cart looks like it would be to this mend? One? So the cart, I moved the oxen over here, but the cart is just rubble at the moment. This cart will be functional so with the mending spell. Or so I'm going to use that uh, scroll, I guess. Unless okay. anyone has mending as like a cantrip. Take that as a no. So I'm going to cast uh, mending with the scroll. Okay. The cart is functional. And Stephanie will even start moving the oxen over and hooking them up to it. Right. I can trash this now. Power of flex tape. That's a genius. That was a lot of damage. That brings us up to four healing potions, I think, with the three from the earlier. Uh, that's how many. Is anyone uh, feeling a bit uh, blood soaked and hurting? Does anyone want to like uh, take a, a little bit of time to like yes, please. stand this out and maybe uh. uh Definitely. Before we uh, don't want a short rest. Peace. That you're not. You don't get a vote. Oh. Okay. 
<sighs> and I think you know why. Is it perhaps an This option? is familiar. Capus. It, oh, it's okay. Nobody likes me. It's okay. Is it perhaps an option to rest on the way in the wagon? It is. We, For time, I, I guess we'll maybe do that. of the yeah. essence. Right. Um, this time, can I uh, try to keep a more active eye out for, like, <laughs> um, wires, ambush spots, uh, potential dangerous wildlife, anything like that? Indeed, you can. I don't think you need to worry about it. Lightning does not strike in the same place twice. Actually, it, 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 it does. No, in those are... That, that's how lightning rods work. Those were Frax's only barrels. The rod. Oh, I'm yeah. There are more goblins with a specific, like, knowledge of how to make this stuff? Uh... So um, the only goblin in existence that can do that. Merg says he's he's working on it, but okay, so I don't know. Keep an eye out also. Um, why don't you uh, sit up here with me? You can tell me a bit about your life there, and I can listen, provide guidance, maybe convert you to my new faiths of Saloon, the, uh, the great Scottish, objectively. Um, That's so cool. Like Like, fr like friends? Yes. Yes, like friends. Okay. I'm piss. Hey. Nice. Yes, I knew that. They call me piss because <laughs> my skin's yellow. Dirt says because my skin's yellow and I'm a waste. Well, I'm very glad that that's the reason. <laughs> no. Oh, I am Achilles. I guess we are traveling together now it had to be pissed it had to be the one to survive <laughs> oh jeez oh jeez this was the least dislikable one though are you kidding I me i love frack <laughs> I, can't wait to find Doug I can't wait to find douglas oh man douglas has got to make an appearance one of these days oh jeez all right what are we doing with the crates I think we're just picking the uh, stuff, right? Uh, take the scrolls and push mm. and the rest. Just gonna... This is gonna salvage whatever he can from the destroyed wagon, you know, along with the rest of them, getting it, get it into the new wagon. Absolutely. Um, somebody can roll me a nature check. Well, I'm very natural. Yeah. 20. There are a number of berry bushes here that are delicious and provide sustenance. Uh, those over there are safe to eat. Those over there are safe to eat if you have n if you have nothing to do for about a ten day. <laughs> um, and a history check on the Cragmaw goblins. Cragmaw goblins. I have a plus four. Roll it. Rolling. Oh. Natural one. Cragmaw might be a tribe of goblins. Maybe they oh, oh, operate oh, oh. around here. Um, I also wanted to give myself a brilliant blessing, so I'll have a bonus for my next initiative. Noted. Yeah. Uh, the piss. Where did you get the, those those uh, barrels? I don't know. Frack raided somewhere. Hmm. They didn't bring me. As they shouldn't have. Oh, jeez. Don't have to be so rude. Nice. You kind of were very rude in not interrupting me uh, as I I was reading my wonderful holy text of Ceylon, our good friend here. There's only one god, and her name is Vakith. 
Piss is staring at you with the Piss is staring at you with these gigantic Disney princess eyes. No one's ever defended me before. Thank you. Incredibly sad, but we will dig into that in a later therapy session. Um, do I know if Flacketh is actually a true goddess or? That DC would be pretty high. Roll a religion. Guidance myself? You can. Right. And you definitely don't have to ask every time. You have heard of Blacketh. Queen, oof, man, would you even get Lich? No, just Queen of Queen of the of the um, Gith. Yeah, you don't even get the specific type of Gith. You just, queen of the Gith is. All, <laughs> oh yeah, I heard it. she's like Queen of the Gith, right? So it's exactly Scream Goddess, though. But you have heard of her. Yes, but you've heard of her. Just a minor observation: uh, the longer we take, the more chance that our human friend is getting eaten by goblins. <laughs> mm. yeah, but we're, we're also on time. the road right now, right? That does we, track. We can be, yes. Anything oh, else right. before I move us to the the next scene? Uh, can we? Uh, can we uh, heal? <laughs> yeah, you get a short rest on the way. Yes. During Ooh. the short. Oh, I guess we don't have to attune to the animal friendship ring. Never mind. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna use second wind because I get second wind back on a short rest. <laughs> Two hundred IQ right there. Brain. Um. Oh, it didn't roll my hit. That's exactly enough. <laughs> All right, I will be right back. Bathroom break, and then we will move on to the to the hideout. Sounds good. <clears throat> Piss. How's it going? How's everybody in chat doing? You, you guys having a fun time? You, you you having fun hanging out with us tonight? Probably not. No one has fun. There's no such thing as fun. Fun is a apparition. <laughs> well, yeah, I actually, actually, no, you can't have fun while Ian's here. It's actually like physically impossible. Well, that's um, the plan. <laughs> So how many times have you guys played with Sam before? A few. Uh, once while he was DMing, and then player like a few times. Many, many times. Indeed. Oh. Again, your wife is tuning in. Um. Yeah. She. She was. She's got her laptop closed now. I'm not sure what she's up doing. All right. I'm back. Did everybody pet your puppies? No, I did. Yep. Flab is mm -hmm. back in California. I'm all the way in Oregon, and I'm sad about it. I hope Ian? that I hope He's, that Friday. Yeah, I, was say, Ian. I hope that Friday kills piss. I gotta, I gotta like make that happen. Make I will defend kiss dislikable. with my very life. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, oh, oh gosh! And I once I get revi revivify. I will make sure to have a stone for piss. I mean, specific so piss. Stone. we're going to have a little bit of a moment while I set up your tokens because I took the time to set up dynamic lighting. Oh. Can you guys see right now? Um, I see white. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because um, oh, I gave you control of this token. With dark vision. I don't. We'll I get do to that. Not. Piss did tell you that there were torches, though. I can I can give them dark vision. There's torches. To 300 feet. Yeah, with a twilight cleric in our party, dark vision's not a concern. Um. Okay, so so real quick, hold on, Benji. Real quick. So I want to set up token. So I went the went through the trouble of setting up the dynamic lighting, but I have to set up each of your individual tokens. So I need to know. So am I just going to assume that everybody has dark vision? Is there like a, is there something, is there something limiting that? I think Benji covers all of us that don't have it easily. Who has, who does not have dark vision? 
Me. Uh, me. I do not. Kitchen. Most no, of you. Okay. People don't. So we have Dragon who doesn't. Um. Do plasmoids to get dark vision? Uh, yes, uh. I was born with it. <laughs> How does that work? You don't have eyes. I got it from my daddy. Yeah. All right, I am setting up your night vision right now. So, or your dark vision? Your dark vision only. So I run dark vision twenty feet instead of sixty, just to kind of. Add to the, if it's three hundred, it's so that would reduce to a hundred. It's a lot. We'll get we'll we'll get to that. Yeah, reduce it to hundred. Is it three hundred right now? Hundred at all times, and I can uh, give it to two people. Oh, to two people. Two people. All right. We're just gonna assume. Let's just make it three. Make life easy. We'll just give everybody dark vision. Just to make it easy. But we're gonna keep the twenty feet because I like the way it looks. So That's nerfs, valid. nerfs, and buffs going around. Uh, you will, you will get your increase in the future when it's daytime. <laughs> in the light. All right. You're horrible. So Let me. How do I? How do I check this? Let's see. I don't mess this up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Works, 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 works. Nope, oh, nope. Ian does not have dark vision. Do not. Uh, they they are proficient on taking away my features, not adding new features. Valid. <laughs> Rest in peace, crafting. All right, everybody good, should good. have dark vision. Okay, so in the future, whenever I move you to a new map, if you see this little D20 here, that is uh that is a token I use to signal, hey, put your token here. So whenever we move to a new map, look for this little token and place your place your token on it. Um, I don't know if everybody else is the same. I don't have control over my token at the moment. He did that purpose. for the lighting, I think. Oh really? You lost control of the But I yeah. lost control. Did also. did everybody lose control? Nope. I can't see anything. I also moved my oh, token in. I I zoom out and back in. Yeah, I do not no, have control of the Echolos token. Okay, stand by while I... I, I can move myself. That's I have weird. control of the die. <laughs> uh, just drag yourself in, because <laughs> that happens when the yeah, DM does sometimes. I deleted you, drag it back. But I could see... My, nobody I could nobody do anything. Just, just... Roll with it. Everybody freeze. All right. Guys, you're ma you're really making this di this difficult. Stop! Just stop! Just stop! Don't touch it. Okay, uh, crass. Indeed. All right, let's see if that works. Try to drag your token. I can drag my token. Okay. Oh, I don't know where it went, but it's gone now. Rip. Did it go under somebody? And it's gone. No, I can control this one too. Well, <laughs> I thought it made my guy go under you, so I tried to move it, but no. Okay. I created that one. All right, so you can't create a token right now? Let me try to create one. Uh, success. All right. Can you move it, Charlotte? Yes. It's very laggy. Ah, I got it. We're good. Okay. But you don't have dark vision, Rip. Okay. 20 feet. Just bear with me. We're only going to have to do this once. I guess I need to get piss over here. All right. Can you control it now? Uh, me? Still? Say again? Me still? Yes. Yes. Crash. Yes. Uh, I can't move past that line that you put me on. Yeah, that's a wall. Oh, but you okay, can move. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, I, can. I think someone with a high strength should have piss as a like someone on his like a. Backpack. Let me get through this, and piss. then we can discuss what to do with piss. All right, Antoine, can you move your token? 
I cannot see my token. You can't see your token? Uh, no. All right, create a new token for me. Here it is. Okay. Weird that I can't see any background Vision. to this. Just black and white for me. That's just how the map is. Wait, I what? think this is like a staging area. Mm, wait, you guys no. can't see the map? We see, no, we see a, a white and sometimes moving over to check on like oh. chat and I see that there's a, a, a like really cool map. I'm going to close mm -hmm. chat now, actually. Yeah, if you oh. guys have chat open, you're going to get spoilers and stuff, by the way. If you have like the stream, Let's... you're going to get oh, spoilers can from like... chat, can't I? From my backstory chat. No, right? no, like, yeah, so just, yeah, just letting you guys know, if you've got Steely's thing open, you're probably going to see like monsters spawning and all the details because that's where like spoilers are. So, you just focus. Now, so. and I'm not just saying just the chat, but just like the image of it in general if you're watching the stream. Okay. You control it now. All right, let's fix. Oh. When you moved me to the left, I saw something green. I see something green, like almost. I see like a, just like a green hue. Okay, but there's nothing under it? I see no, a bush and a rock. And then white with black darkness around it. Hold on, let me let me let me help you out a little bit with this, Julie. Because why can you guys not see the map? That is interesting. Uh, is, it on, is it on the map layer? Did you delete? I've done that before. It is definitely on the map layer. Did you delete the asset from your? How about now? After putting it. In? Nope. Oh, I bet you I did delete it, didn't I? That happened to me in the the other game. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> so dumb. I'm looking right at it. All right. Yeah, so only you can see it because technically it's all, it's not there. That is painful. All right, this won't take but a moment. Stand by. I've got no worries. my stuff nice and organized so that I can get to it easy. I'm going to let the dogs out. I will be back in a moment. Go for it. That's That is Take just... It makes me sad, Chepe, because I was like cleaning out the folder when. Yeah, dude, I had to. I have to do it all the time because I don't. I have a pleb account. <laughs> you have uh, a pleb account. So like, every session I have to upload the assets I need for that session. And, That's why and I use Owlbear. Take them all out. All right, let's. Let's hope this works. Caffeine up. See ya. All right. Trees and river. Can we see? Trees, river. Yes, it's back. Looks like there we go. Yeah. I recognize this. Okay. So that's China's done. Now let's check dark vision. Or actually, let's check see if I can control their token me i'm the one that can't right now all right ankles you cannot all right let's fix that put a token down Move. good to go okay now i'm going to give you vision or i'm going to move you over here and give you vision night vision get you a little green tint i use the green tint for night vision so if you see green that means you're in the it's that means you're, that's your night vision all right, can you see? Yes, sir. Can you move your token? Yep, still got movement. Excellent, perfect. All right, now I should be able to update. You know what? I want to make I want to make absolutely sure this is working. So everybody create a new token. I want to just I want to make sure it's working. I can see. You plop down right there. I can see. Um, let me see. I can't. Oh, can I? You cannot see, Chip. Oh, I can't take. I can't see. Yeah, I'm fixing it. God. I cannot. Nor can I. Oh. I'll stay near my friend. Uh, please don't leave. Your call is important to us. Huh?
Okay, how do we fix this? I don't guess I'm gonna to have go to go off on my own for what I it's worth. Think we guess I have get... to update each one manually. I guess I could do that. That's fun. Default token. No. Guess I have to. Default token will be used when the character is dragged from the journal view. Close can see apply token default. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, close create a token. You're kidding me. I think I figured it out. All right, create a token. Make loose. Can you move it? Sorry, the... Uh, I, I, how do you get everybody else's pictures off of the screen? Just close. There should be an X. You just close it. Welcome back, bud. And you're trying to stream something illegal and look for an X. <laughs> okay, I can move it. Okay, perfect. And you said you could control your token, uh, Beef? Oh, I can, yes. Okay, all right. Perfect. So we're almost there. I can see. You can see, but you can't control your token, right? Yeah, no, I can. You I can see. control your token I right now? I can't go into the DM zone. Okay, huh. put you back. All right, I need to set you as default, and we're good to go. All right, what was your issue, um, Ellen? I don't think um, I have enough time for that. <laughs> Crass can't see. Yeah, right, oh, my well, God. While you how, figure how out what your one issue come back is. From that? Um, yeah, so I can move my character. I just can't see anything. You I can't can see, see anything? I can't, like, I don't have the dark vision thing. That's because this area is lit. What about now? It's lit. I can see. Okay. How Grass. I should, but the perfect amount. Can you move? Um. Yeah, I moved it over there to start the yeah, places. And uh, yeah, I can see like the haze, the greenish dark vision haze. Okay, let me make that your token. All right. So now everybody should be able to place their tokens and have dark vision. Perfect. Dark vision is such a hassle. I thought you said there was a lot of torches. There is a lot. This is not just for this session. This is for all futures, for the entire campaign. Now when you drag your token for the rest of the campaign, you should have dark vision. Because, because this will not just be... Because there will be plenty of dark places. And I just want to get that out of the way now while we're in the, while we're in the intro session. Now... You guys probably want a description because we've been sitting here for a minute. Sorry that took so long. As you reach the end of the Goblin Trail, a gaping maw looms over you, seeming to yawn ever wider upon your approach. The crashing sound of a waterfall can be heard inside. There's a rich smell of earth and mold in the air as a stream of clear water rushes over a rocky bed, bending its flow in the shadow of a briar thicket. What do you do? Let me get pit. Let me get pit over here. Appears to be the hideout. Time of day? Uh, we'll say late in the afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna wrap up my conversation with Piss about how bad Char is and why we don't like Char. Um. Okay. And uh, just uh, investigate this area. Okay. Uh, is there like same something? description? We should look for tracks. Okay. If they came back here recently after killing our friends' horses, the ground is pretty damp. They probably would have left tracks. Isn't that right? Yes. Yeah, so when we get in, 
believe you're on to something. Uh, Piss, when we get inside, uh, where do we go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? We want to find our friend, Piss. But we also don't want oh. to die. Yeah, I can take you to your friend. Are we yes. going to encounter uh, any of your other goblins on the way? Well, yeah. Probably. Do you... If we get into a fight, stay behind me. I don't want you getting hit. We're, we're uh, getting into such a close friendship. I'm slightly ambivalent about you getting hit, but... Uh... Could you uh, tell us if there's um, some sort of password or key phrase or, I don't know, something that doesn't involve any of us getting hit? Um, no, there's not one. So we're getting hit regardless? A, I don't know. Case? I guess. Yes. If you go in there, probably. Is there another way to go? Um, to another your home? In. Oh, another way into uh, the area where our friend is? No. Okay. Yes, do you know how to uh, do a surprise party? Or surprise your friends? I don't have any friends. Well, if you had some friends you and you wanted to kind of like sneak up on them and surprise them, you know how to do that, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we want to do to your friends, or your not-so-friends, the ones inside. The other ones that look kind of like you, but different. Yes, we want to sneak up on them and kill them. Uh, well, good luck. I think Zerga's on guard. And who's that? Who's this uh, person? She's mean. Is I mean Zerga? Another uh, bugbear? No. She's a goblin. She's a she's of goblin Valkyrie. 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 Interesting. Piss seems to be struggling to say the word. Val Valkyrie. 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 Yeah, that. Valkyrie. Yeah, that one. Well, I say we sneak in, get in there, and uh, have Piss tell us where the human is, Sildar, and hopefully he's not torn apart and over a spigot. A bit. Uh, Piss, make sure you don't get uh, hurt. I wouldn't want that to happen. I need you, and uh, you're our friend, of course. Also that. Okay. Uh, by the way, the Perfect. I put these tokens here for you, that you can mouse over if you want to, like, investigate them you just that way i can leave them leave them out of the description and you can kind of investigate the map on you just make them make make the map more um, interactive it's a really fun little feature i like it nice touch i will I like color i will take a berry from the bush and i'm going to uh, imbue it with the odor of like moist dirt so that uh, I don't know if your friends have good way of uh, sniffing humanoids, but uh, perhaps this will help us avoid detection. Okay. Roll in nature. Right. Watching that uh, rock. It's gorgeous. Okay. Roll uh, for the rock. Roll a. Well, hold on. Let me get this one. Nature. Those berries are poisonous. They will make you sick if you eat them. No. Interesting. And I need a perception for the stream. Okay, from me. Let's yep. Whoever's searching the stream. Uh, Ten. Broken wine bottles and old food rest at the bottom of the stream. Among them is a single tourmaline earring. Oh, pink. Um, a pink gemstone. Someone lost some jewelry down here. You are um, unsure where the other where the pair where the other where its twin is. Uh, 
What's what's that? Uh, Mr. Sator? I, I, I'm not good with names. Uh, Iculos. Iculos. Okay, uh, Legolos, what is, um... What are you looking? Oh, is it a... Ring? Or... Tourmaline is a pink gemstone, by the way. Is there uh, like a nearby like a... stick or anything for me to try and fish it out with? You can, like, the stream is only ankle deep. You could easily grab it. Can I, uh, can I use shape water to get it to, to get the water to, like, give it to me? It's a short stream. We can just grab it. <laughs> the water yes. spits it out. Me out if, you, if you would like to use magic, absolutely. You can part the stream <laughs> to keep your hands I'm dry. Gonna, absolutely. I do some weird stuff. A gentleman does not get his hands wet. I need an investigation on the berry bush. Nature to identify the berries. They are poisonous. Perception for the stream. You found it. Also, I need a survival for whoever. Whoever does the survival. Um, Crass. Who's best at survival? Un Crass. Oh. Unlike, unlike the previous berry bushes you've encountered, this one remains untouched. You can assume it's because the goblins know it's poisonous. Dirt near the base of the bush looks broken and fresh, as if it has been dug up recently. Dug up like something else was dug up, or like this was planted here? It looks too far away for it to be the dirt from the bush being planted. It looks like somebody was hiding something beneath, beneath the bush, or digging something up that was hidden. Perfect. Uh, I will attempt to ex excavate this loosened dirt. You find a stained glass lantern. Gorgeous design. Interesting. Anything on the stained glass or is it colored? It is colored. What is the hue? It's each window has a different color. Cycling through... The earthy tones, red, orange, brown. What a peculiar thing to be buried near a goblin settlement. All right, Indeed. water. Is it functional? These lanterns look similar to the ones you found in the carriage further south. Okay. Water, give me earring. Oh, sorry. He, uh, Ren does some hand motions and some actual magic for trying to use shape water to get the earring. Um, to avoid dispute, I'm going to say Aculos got the ring because he was the one that rolled the perception and found it and grabbed it. Oh. No. But, I mean, it can be passed around to whoever. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Well, uh, I wonder we'll take if the, the other earring is around here somewhere. Take the lantern and put it off to the side. Uh, someone wants to grab this. We should probably try to bring it back if possible. Maybe as much things as we can from what we were supposed to bring back. The lantern looks valuable. Hmm. It doesn't look like it was belonging to the goblin. Indeed. Elrin, you want to take this lantern? It's valuable. Hold on to it, please. Of course. Trust me with your valuables. Yes. Our valuables at the moment. <laughs> yes, my valuables. I, I understand. As you are discussing things and digging through the stream, you hear a voice from the other side of the thicket. So there it was. It looked like a human, sort of. It sure snored like one. We thought it might be lost until we got closer and saw the size of it. Like two houses stacked on top of each other. The wolves snarled and started barking, making all kinds of racket, which woke the thing up. It pulled a tree straight from the ground by its roots like a club and yelled something at us. Don't know what it was. Didn't wait around to find out. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure it's still there lumbering around. And you hear a number Does, of... Are these voices like slurring their speech yes or, okay. um 
Uh, they're coming okay. from there? the other side of this oh, thicket. There? Okay. Um, P.S. Do uh do do the goblins go over there to drink ever? Like uh, assume uh neurotoxic uh, alcohol or something like that? No, never. They go over there to guard. Okay, P.S. Okay. Um. Like, they're supposed to be watching the entrance. Ah, they're very good at it. Okay, um, can we try to, like, try to, like, see through the bush, or is that just, is it too thick? It is too thick. Uh, you know what they say, you cannot spell ambush without bush. Meaning we should ambush the fellows on the other side of this. Um. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes, that, go that is true. In in common, you cannot spell ambush without bush. Go ahead. Crass is going to go over to the bushes and see if there's just, like, tiny gaps. Look over to Antoine. Hey, Antoine, I can't seem to fit through this. Are you uh, able to ambush them on the other side? Maybe take a gander, see how many we've got? Let's, uh... And I contort myself into uh how do I what would uh, Damn that is useful. Uh so I'm gonna like send my head <laughs> as a like thin little earthworm gym thing to the other side of these bushes. Okay. You see three goblins. Uh, actually, let me read you the my description that I got here. The thicket has vanished here, replaced by felled branches and chipped stumps. Smoke curls from a dying cook fire. A goblin stands on top of a tree stump, captivating his audience with a tail. Do, the, do they appear to be holding their weapons? No, they're holding they're holding bottles. Um, are there weapons? Uh, he um, are there do they have weapons anywhere near? Um, you are unsure. Weapons nearby. I I retract my head. <laughs> say uh. Uh yes, their weapons are nearby. I'm assuming if they are guards, that their weapons are close at hand, but uh, we should be able to get the jump on them. Perfect. Um, can I try to get to a place where I can see, but they can't? Like, if I go above... Hey, bud, you want to stop front? trying to step on toes, my friend, Benji? Go ahead, um... Antoine. Oh, that... That was it. Okay. Um... Crash, were you doing something? Uh, no. I'm just trying to make sure we can get my information from whatever uh yeah i mean i'll just convey what what steely was saying you know there's three guards they're drinking they don't have their their weapons wielded but probably around okay go ahead ellen what were you doing repositioning i was i was trying to see if i could find a place where i could see area where they would have a hard time me like um if i go around or roll, a, roll a stealth. Oh, wonderful. I'm great at that with my disadvantage. All right. As you make your way around here, the one on the stump kind of looks over. We got company boys. No, we're done raiding for tonight. What do you want? I wanted to know the vintage of the alcohol. It Who's asking? Very nice. Um, I am an unfortunately deformed goblin. Ah, oh, a geez. very sad tale. Tell him that Clark wants to know. gonna motion to the others to 
get their weapons out or something. Oh dear. Awaiting response. Uh, oh, so, my sword's been out the whole time. <laughs> okay. No, the go the goblins are just kind of looking at you like, eh. Uh, from from yonder uh, across the bush, you hear, "We're here for your heads." Any any response? Are they just too intoxicated? Uh, yeah, I guess if you're, are you like yelling that threateningly? I'm assuming you are. Yes, yeah, we'll go ahead and yelling it threateningly. We will yeah. inish then. Ah, we got to fight, boys. They'll, like, stumble over themselves to get their weapons. There's no way I could have used uh, my telekinesis to move one of their weapons someplace that they... Not now seen. that I've called for initiative. Maybe before <laughs> before that point. When you when you were just, like... That, that's why... That when pause, that, yeah. Yeah, that long pause, like, what are you doing? You but, know, uh, I have a feeling he's going to announce our presence for combat in the future, so... Uh... That right. would have, um, perhaps we attack first uh, for announcing. Yes, that might be useful. All right, I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Elrin. You're missing me. Uh, I'm double checking vigilant blessing. Okay, I have advantage. Okay, great. But I had that advantage. You did. You rolled twice. You got a 14. Uh, top of this, crass. Oh, it did not register, did it? No, it said it rolled 2d20. If, if you... Um... Oh, it registered, but it didn't. You didn't select your token. Right. Oh. That's always the hardest one to remember. They announced in an update thing that they're going to be fixing that too. I, for, I forgot what they said they were going to do exactly, but it specifically addressed people not clicking their token for initiative. Means okay. nice. the program. Uh, Are you that not register either? It did not. Are you sure you have your token selected? Yep. Click on it to where it has like those three colored circles above it, and okay. then go yeah, over let's... in the initiative. Here we go again. Third time's the charm. Wonderful work. Okay, I am going to put you on the tracker. We can fix this in a moment. We'll go with your first roll just because. Crass, go ahead. All righty. Uh, Crass is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, my gosh. So bugged. Nice. I'm going to go right over here. And then... I'm going to make a little attacky tech. To attempt to fight one of these guys. Alright. The one in the front here. Muzzle. Roll oh yeah, yeah none, of the, way. none of the names are, gonna, are popping up, are they? As he runs up to do that, I'm going to look over to Elrin and I'm like, Oh, I get it. Nope. He's taking a bite out of crime. Oh my god. <laughs> a nine. I missed it. You dig that into will... the goblin's armor, but your teeth do not pierce it. Hiding behind it. Oh, right. Only head cunning. That's my turn. Uh, Antoine, you you're up. No bite. All right. Okay, come around. Uh... I like deploy like a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> I uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something else. Uh, from under my wrist, a spout uh, shoots out, and I'm gonna shoot grease at uh, all like in the area of the fire, Olak, and the one who's I think it's like so they need dex save okay uh muzzle and olock yeah i think it's a 14 
Okay. Um, let's see. We'll do muzzle. Got a 10. Olak got an 18. And I don't know if uh, it affects the fire at all, but. Uh... Oh, yeah. the fire is mostly burned out at this point. All right. Then I will um, retreat behind this wall. If they fail, they're prone. Okay, so muzzle is prone. And Will that, that be your difficult terrain? Noted. Will that be your turn? We. Oui. Uh, Aclos. Yes, sir. Well, the impulsive young Aclos uh, hears the direction of the goblins, uh, sees some bushes there, and figures, I'm just gonna run and leap forward. Um. So can can he get ten feet before it becomes difficult terrain for like a standing long jump? Uh, the difficult. So the only difficult terrain we have right now is the grease. Okay, so he'll run up to here, and after ten feet of movement, he's gonna just jump through the bushes. It's it's Achilles' turn to ambush. Okay, how high can you jump? Um, let's see, uh, with a long jump, um, I'm not sure what the height is, but I can go, how far, it's 16 plus D8, uh, that's 24 feet of jump. All right. How high can you get though? That's, I, let, let we'll, me, we'll uh, say you can clear the, uh, thickets. Get back to me on the, um, uh, on your height. Yeah. All right, where are you? Oh, let me move you over. All right, where are you landed? Um, I imagine very. Yep, yeah, right, right next. Okay, uh, let me work with updated vision. Okay, so I actually almost completely passed ball. Um, he jumped over next to like Gribbo. Okay. <laughs> he flying satyr. Soars over the thickets. Surprise, oh, sorry, little Jeff. guys. <laughs> and then he's going to come down on Grimo with the Warhammer. All right, love, go for it. Love the, love the imagery, the flying satyr coming out of the bushes. Not this time. <laughs> That's a, a one. A natural one. You stagger a bit like as you it. land. In the uneven terrain. Will that be your turn? That will, sir. Except uh, one last thing. Uh, come at me, all you little green buggers. <laughs> all right. Uh, muzzle. Muzzle says, ah, there's more of them. Hit. Kill them all. Uh, Elrin. Um, so do they all, have they all gotten their weapons yet? Uh, yeah, we'll say we start initiative at the grabbing of the weapons. Okay. Well, um, can I try to... Okay, so... I want to waste a spell slot, so I'm just going to try to move there and push um, muzzle into the campfire. No, You're it's, breaking wait, up. It's not burning. All right, uh, the campfire is not burning, right? It is not. It is just smoking. Okay. Um, and I will move there so people can get past me, and I will use all the dead on puzzle. Yes. Okay. He has not taken damage. Wisdom save 12. That will not succeed. Roll. For a really well on uh, the dead. single point of damage. Will that be your turn? 
Unfortunately, I think that's going to be all I can do. Yeah. All right, let's see. Muzzle is going to kind of maneuver in such a way. And... Save again. Oh, the deck save? For the grease? Oh, no, it just ends its turn. Enters or ends its turn. Okay. Did you say he needed to roll a save? No, no, no. I'm okay. sorry. I, I was thinking out loud. All right. Um, muzzle is going to ready for Olock to get over there, and then they're going to give each other advantage. Does uh, Muzzle provoke from me when he moves out of five feet? No. He doesn't. He's doing this. Gotcha. I forgot how to think it's, yeah. He's doing this. Oh, uh, I thought he was in between the other two before. Never mind. Gribbo is going to take a swing at you. Yes, sir. A clue. 18 for three. Yeah, he, he meets beats. Um, and but heavy armor master reduces that to zero. Excellent. Olak is going to move up with advantage. A 20 to hit Crass for eight damage. 22 for 6 and 13 for 8 from the goblin boss muzzle. And that is all the goblins. Then picking up the, the rear. Um, I'm going to move here. Am I muted? Nope, I hear you. Move, no, taking up the rear. Good. Coming here. All right. You have advantage on Olak. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. I Ian. Real quick revision. I'm sorry. They're drunk, so they lose their advantage. So it's a nine for eight, 15 for six, 13 for eight. Sorry. Go ahead. Gotcha. Uh, with advantage, Silver Great Sword. Uh, we don't have Bless still. I still have that. Act Do we? No. No, it's been. I don't know. Less. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys took a short yeah, rest. 23, nonetheless, for eight. Eight points of damage on Olak. Olak is down. Gotcha. Um, bonus action, telekinetic push, uh, Gribbo. Uh, yonder. I mean, not yonder, yonder. <laughs> oh, wow. Good saving throw. Oh, yeah, that does beat. All right. Will that be your turn? That will be my turn. Piss. It's going to hide. Crass. Alrighty. Brass is going to look over to Muzzle and attempt to bite Muzzle. He is no longer a prone. Ignore that. A 12. Man, them attack rolls are low tonight. Rough. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then, yes, that was, yeah, I've already used that one. Yeah, we're going to stick with that. Uh, that's my turn. All right, Antoine. Does right. Muzzle have a muzzle on you? <laughs> Antoine peeks around from the corner, takes out a silver pocket watch, and then throws it like a yo-yo. And uh, at Gribbo, and I'm going to, yeah. Uh, Thorn Whip on it. Huh? It only rolled... It, it just rolled... Pocket Whip. Uh, 16. 16. Which one? Gribbo? Yes. 16 hits Gribbo. Uh, he takes... One piercing damage, and he is pulled toward me into the grease. So he needs a DC 14. Okay, we, we get it. <laughs> You're not going to sleep in the grease. All right. Back to the drawing board. Uh, Will that be your <laughs> turn? Go back around the corner. Yeah, that's my turn. Hey, close. Sorry, I was looking at the uh, jumping stuff, trying to find the height for you on a long jump. Um, okay, so he pro. Okay, did he provoke or did he use like? No provoke. I'll let you know. 
Yes, sir. Okay, so um, we're going to rush up. Um, I'll still, if I go here, I'm still uh, flanking with uh, Kachatruk, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, not there. Not here. Okay, here. it has to be here. Yeah, okay. There. Um, Then I'll go ahead and take a swing at old Gribbo and see if I can't put the goblin down. All right. And with advantage, we got a seven and a one, really. Okay, uh, 12 to hit. 12 does not hit. <laughs> Your that... Warhammer bashes the goblin's shield to That'll no be. effect. Elrin. Okay. Try this one more time. Um, let's uh, see. Um, uh, Grippo is in front of me. Um, so I'm going to uh, force him to make a save against um, some D12 necrotic. Okay. Yes. You said Toll the Dead? You're kind of breaking up. Toll the Dead. All right, yeah, All right. Toll the Dead. All right. He passed, I believe. That's so rude. Okay. Um, can I just, uh, yeah, uh, that's all I'm going to do this turn. Okay. Muzzle. Let's see. Muzzle's definitely going to swing at grass. So let's do that with disadvantage. 14 for four, oh 20 for three. Gribbo is going to swing at uh, Aqua. Uh, Crass will go down. Oh. A nine at Aqlos. Aqlos. That'll be a miss. And that'll be the goblin's turns. All right. Chop. What are you aiming at? <laughs> uh, I'll make a swing at uh, Gribbo with advantage. 23. Hits nine. Ow, stop. That will down him. And I will move right here. Um, bonus action push right here. Okay. Actually, wait, no, I'm going to move right here. I'm going to bonus action push down here. That, that saves. <laughs> Piss is thinking about this situation and has decided to run away. <laughs> oh, geez. Actually, hmm. how much does he like? How much does he like you guys? Can I, give, can I give Piss a thumbs up? We'll say we'll say that he is contemplating this decision. You guys seem nice, but he's also convinced that you're going to die in here. So. He's uh piss is nervous. He's feeling a bit indecisive over here. Crash. Alrighty. He, he like goes to run away and he's like, where would I go? Oh geez. All right, success. Uh and that's my turn. Antoine. Okay, I come around the corner, and I deploy the Mylar blanket on the... Uh, uh, he needs a DC-14 deck. Take flame. Ooh, Holy dice shit. are on fire, baby. I uh, believe it's saved for none. I go back around the corner. Ikelos. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, let's see. I suppose I can wrap around and uh, and do some flanking with old Crass there. So I'll move myself. Uh, I can't help down. you flanking up down. Oh, you're down. Sorry. Also, um, you'll be unable to flank. Wait, go for it. Go ahead. 
He's down. I suppose then I'll. You cannot stand there. That is a cliff, or that's a rock wall. Okay. Um, next to Crass on the ground, then? It would be one more down. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll make a, a Warhammer attack there. Get away from my companion. <laughs> I guess he doesn't really know him very well yet. And we got our... Little... Spent a few days travel together. Um, that one's going to be a crit. Give me some damage. Why didn't it roll? I guess on the versatile ones, it doesn't automatically do it. Let me roll another d8. Okay, so f- 17. 17, yeah. Got it. He's, yeah, he's looking rough. Will that be your turn? Yes, sir. <laughs> Elrin. You took a hammer to the oh. skull and got up. <laughs> Elrin is going to move my feet this way. Use his telekinesis to force movement Crass's body. Him? Can I do that? Uh, what's your weight limit? Well, um, I was thinking of using telekinetic shove because I believe you can choose to fail saves. Uh, uh sure. yeah, we'll move over. So when it, so as far so whenever you're using so whenever you're doing things like that, it won't be a save. It'll just be the other player's approval. Yeah, because at the end of it, it says a creature can willingly fail the save. Yeah. Fine, move on. Oh, uh, the other way. Towards me. Yeah, away from <laughs> combat. Away from combat towards the healer. A pull, not a shove then, sir. Will that be your turn, Elrin? Um, I, uh, try to uh, give him one of the healing potions. He, isn't the telekinesis bonus action? Bonus action. I still have a, a normal action, though. Yeah, po- the potion's a bonus. You could use you healing word or to cure. Someone else is a bonus. Maybe oh yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah. I do. I do, I do action to apply somebody else. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Two D or forty four. Make sure he doesn't choke on it and uh, give him a <laughs> healing potion. He's not a snake. He's a, he's a lizard. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Uh, no. Elrin, you roll the you roll the potion. Right. That is um. While you do that, Muzzle is going to take his turn. Uh, he is going to sp- common. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. The basic. The two D two D four plus two. So, uh, okay. Who's this on? Um, this is, uh, this, you, he is swinging at you, um, Kachatruk. Uh, yeah, yeah, blocked both. Okay. Kachatruk. <laughs> All right. Um, I will, um, bonus action shove this way. I'll try again. Honestly, I don't even, hold on, let me, okay, my save is 11. He fails. All right. Moves down there. I'm going to move down here and I'm going to flank great sword for six. That'll do it. Muzzle falls. Well, that it ap- was a piece of cake. It appears that we were able to not arouse too much attention. That is because I'm very good at killing. Quick and quiet. Uh, okay, we'll go with that. Quick and quiet. Official narrative will present. Even I didn't see that goblin coming. Well, I, I saw um, goblins coming. I didn't see explosives, though. Well, no one could have expected the big boom. Someone, but 
not us. Um, I'm gonna go uh, see if Piss is doing okay, like mentally. Give him a pep talk, maybe. And speaking of Piss, I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Beep, beep, boop, boop, check. I feel like we're gonna need a new cantrip, Calm Goblin. Piss comes on over, or walks over. Oh, jeez. You did it. I have a feeling we'll be doing much of the same once we get inside. Okay. Uh, let's uh, rifle through these bodies, I guess. The goblins wear leather armor and wield scimitars of goblin design. They are worth nothing. They do, however, or they are, however, drinking from, or they're drinking rum. Roll a history to identify the rum. A bottle of red winter rum. The smell draws forth vivid memories of holiday celebrations. You know this brand. This rum was made not far from your home in Neverwinter. Like ice rum? Yes. Uh, do I know if it's highly flammable? It is not. Uh, it's not it's that. Really... Not that strong. Perhaps it can be distilled to increase its flammability. I will take a bottle. There are three. There are three bottles here. I will just. I'll just take one. I. I certainly can hardly turn down a drink. I'll take one with me. <laughs> That'll be good tonight. It just goes right through me. <laughs> I, I think they're scimitars and I throw them into the bushes. So, um, after looking into the long jump movement, um, it, it doesn't have any rules for how high that is. Uh, the rule assumes the height of your jump doesn't matter, but your, your GM may require a DC 10 strength athletics check to clear a low obstacle, no taller than a quarter of the jump's distance, so like six feet tall. Noted. When you make a high jump, you leap into the air a number of feet equal to three plus your strength mod if you move at least 10 feet immediately before the jump. Yeah, that's, yeah. When you make a standing high jump, you can move half that. So that's the height you can cover. Yeah, it was the height on the long jump, though. Because a high jump is jumping straight up. A long jump is when you're jumping forward as far as you can. And it just doesn't say how tall it is. Yeah, we'll just cover high. We'll just say high and high and long. Sounds good. Uh, the goblins also carry 21 gold pieces among them. Total among the what three need, of them. Are there weapons? There are weapons. Word. Scimitars. How poorly made were they? They... Goblin made scimitars. They are of no value. Okay. They are functional scimitars. You can use them in combat, but selling them, no, not going to happen. Like, say, if we gave them to a peasant, the peasant could use it to defend their land if anything ever happened? Yes. These scimitars can be used in combat, but they cannot be sold Do not to, a, burden yourself to a vendor. With these crude implements, if we come across some peasants without weapons, we can provide something better, surely. I will not burden myself with using anything that isn't silver. Well, I suppose First if you'd like to give them away, I could carry some along with me. It's not a big deal. I mean, that was the idea. Yeah, a Aculus is fine with carting around some goblin scimitars if we're going to give them away to people. 
If we give them to the peasants, the peasants can more effectively seize the means of production. <laughs> Are you sure you shouldn't be giving them hammers and sickles? This is the closest I can get to hammer and sickle. Yeah, we go inside. Yeah. Yes, let's shall. Um, do you think peace sh perhaps should uh, wait outside? I don't think uh -huh. we will remain here. I can guard. Peace, I bet you are very good at hiding, aren't you? The best. I'll tell you what. Hide out in these bushes over here so that no one sees you. Oh, geez. And then For how come, long? Well, just until we come back. Um, but what if you don't come very, back? That's a good question. Um, it's it's not back. a relevant question. We will come back. Uh, give, give us a day or two, would you please? Just... I'm sure there's fish, Day? there's berries. We don't know what's going to happen in there. Okay. But, uh, once we get to a, a crossroads, we have to have uh, Pisces help to uh, navigate. He doesn't seem to oh. know very much, frankly. You you don't give Piss enough credit. Piss is, Piss is not a, not a uh, non-intelligent cop. Well, has potential. he's the one that survived. Listen, Peace, what is it that you want to do? Uh, you guys want to play cards? He points to the campfire. Uh, in there is... the world where we are going into this cave, what role do you wish to play in that? Um, I don't know. Just hang back until we give you the uh, all clear to come in, and you can guide us after that. Okay. How about you uh, count your fingers till we get back? Okay. Um, Piss did point at a deck of cards laid out near the campfire. Um, can I teach Piss to play solitaire? That will take some time. Is it an ordinary deck of cards? Roll a perception. Somebody was to leave him with a deck of many things. Draws like the instant kill one. Oh well. Is Can't do anything about that. Highly perceptive yeah, wanting to roll. Nope. <laughs> I, oh, I, can, I can do that. I'm highly perceptive. Wait, did you say perception or investigation? Perception. perception. I can do that. Uh, guidance is Whenever also you're ready. going to be in effect. You don't have to keep telling me. So, <laughs> no. Uh, I, I remembered that. An 11. 13. A 13. Laid out on the old linens is an incomplete deck of playing cards, empty bottles of rum, and a stuffed teddy bear. You find three unopened... I already told you guys about the unopened bottles. Three unopened bottles of red winter rum. Can I investigate this teddy bear? The off chance it's on my wish list. It is, it is a nice teddy bear. It appears clean, awesome. even in this dirty environment. <laughs> Nobody in this party has detect magic, huh? Oh, I have a... <laughs> identify. Can I identify it uh, with 10 minutes? It is it it is a teddy bear functions as a Strixhaven mascot. It's on my list. Well it appears you have a full teddy bear. Can I um uh, try to uh, get it to grab onto my upper left arm? It grabs onto your left arm and makes a squeaking noise. This is the greatest magic item I have ever... Looks at his cloak. I'm sorry, buddy. 
<laughs> Billows in the wind. They're up. Alright, well, I think we should be pressing forward as intrepid adventurers. Let us hope that our employers are uh, intact when we arrive. I'm sure they're fine. Goblins are known for their treatment of prisoners, I think. <laughs> you are part of treating their prisoners. Uh, well, they said he's special, so he's probably alive. Yes. You might be dry aging him. Fine. Peering into the cave. Off to your right, you see a staircase leading up. And further down, you can hear the sounds of a wash uh, of a waterfall picking up, getting louder further into the cave. What do you do? I try to peek around here. Uh, detect magic cancer. Okay. I did not change anything homebrew in D&D. &D gotcha. Beyond. All right. Who's up front? Someone who wants um, in the dark, I um, hope. Not me. I will not be in the front. I'm uh, fine being up front. I, I like to see danger confront me. Face on. Certainly, certainly stand can you see? All right. Again, to your right is a staircase leading up. A small staircase. It's only about waist high. And further in, you can see light. Yeah, you can actually see that torch over a bridge. But you can't quite make out what's going on over there yet. <sighs> Shall we continue? Peace, what's up the stairs? You asking me or the party? Uh, I'm asking piss. Piss. Oh, uh, the puppies. Um, I don't know how much I know about goblins. Does that sound like he's talking about like works? Probably. Uh, now the puppies in cages, on leashes, on chains, or do they sort of are they free range? I think they're chained up. Okay. Okay. I mean, and then we will leave them alone. Not a problem. Yes, but uh, didn't one of you have that ring from Stephanie? Oh, maybe these uh, beasts can become our allies. You know, that's that not is a, a good point. Idea. It's not a bad idea, as far as I know. Um, you show good use, Plasmoid. So I know that Stephanie used at least one charge out of the ring. Are there any remaining? You have full charges. Okay. Um, you get your charges back on a short rest. Sorry. Oh, okay. Or D3 on a short rest. It's full. Also, she used one charge back in Neverwinter. That was days ago. Oh, that's true. I forgot that it was like a four or five day <laughs> journey. Um, okay. Well, we'll go ahead and activate that and... Uh, Akalos will uh, make his way forward slowly and as quietly as he can, but not very quietly. Okay. Um, so I've I've got Speak With Animals active, and I am creeping Noted. forward. I don't see your token moving. That's why I haven't... Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. ...revealed anything. The staircase is to the right. Oh. All right. As you make your way up this small staircase, the den's warm, rank air is a cocktail of wet fur, old meat, and blood. A pile of bloody bones lies on a heap of ripped clothing near the mouth of the cave. A group of wolves lie wounded and resting. The largest of the pack looks towards you. A low growl emanates from the base of its throat. Hello there. I am Achilos of the Neverwinter Wood. 
Um, Gregor stands up and looks at you. What do you want? Uh, we were coming through here um, because some friends of ours were taken from us. Um, we had hoped to return them to the pack, as it were. Uh, he says, not our concern. Everyone be respectful of these these magnificent creatures. Roll a... Let's see. Insight or animal handling? Your choice. Um, we'll go with insight. That'll be a 12. Uh, you notice that Gregor is weakened and is putting on a brave face for his pact in order to, in, in order to in, intimidate you. But he cannot hide his pain or nor his malnourishment. Um, you also know. Oh, I have a handout for this. Stand by. Aikilos is going to reach into his pack and get a day's worth of rations, um, and just kind of break it up and offer it to him. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. He doesn't seem very trusting. He slowly approaches and scoops up the single ration and gives it to Sterling who appears to be injured with a broken leg. Your friend, it you appears me? as though they are uh, particularly wounded. Perhaps I could be of assistance. It's none of your concern. I have a healing touch, but if it is your wish, I will move on. Is there something perhaps that they want? way to earn their trust is there anything that we could do to assist you as we are passing through one of the other wolves looks up to Gregor says let him help Sterling's not going to make it uh, Gregor moves away alright well Achilles will walk over and respectfully nod at Gregor and reach down and uh, he's going to expend one point of healing from his lay on hands for the seriously wounded wolf. The bones snap back into place of the wolf's paw. It gently licks its own paw and then nuzzles its nose into your leg. I'm glad you are feeling better. Sterling. Thanks, bud. Um, I hate to trouble you further. Do you know what lie ahead here? What, what creatures? Uh, Gregor just barks. Uh oh, actually, he kind of look. Actually, he kind of looks angry. Like he tilts his nose down, his eyes sharp, looking at you. How would we know that? I thought that perhaps the goblins had had you in further in the cave. No. I understand. Everyone, let us get out of their den. Um, uh, would you tell them that uh, we're planning on uh, doing dream violence on these goblins? They, they no. Don't tell them that. We don't. He didn't seem super happy when you mentioned him. That could be good or bad. Come on, friends. We are wasting their time. They need their rest. Right. Uh, and uh, we, like, release them from their chain. Uh, they do appear chained to the wall to the south. Oh. I'm just These saying. chains magical in any way? They are not. These creatures appear to be prisoners. Yeah, we I caught didn't... them. We can caught we caught them a ten day ago. They fell in the pit trap. As soon as Piss oh. turns this corner, <laughs> Cracker charges. Uh, 
As soon as Piss turns this corner, Gregor charges, reaches the end of his chain, and nearly chokes himself. The other two will stand back. I, uh... Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes, get out of here, Goblin. Keep running. He, he means this. He's like, keep running. I'm going to let these things out. <laughs> Go back and hide like I told you to, dumbass. <laughs> Sorry, you said you're letting the you're you're doing what? Um, I'm I'm going to speak to Gregor. It's like it seems as though you are no friend of the goblins. Um, I would like to provide you with your freedom if you would allow. He rests. He pushes his nose under the chain and rattles it. Okay. Um. So let's see. Are are they rusty manacles or chain or whatever? With a with an athletics, you could break them free easily. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I'm, I'm going well, to not do easily. This as quietly as I can. <laughs> Probably not very quietly. Okay, you only um, get one shot at this. I only do I one roll. One shot. Um, so whoever's a, higher than a plus three, I'm sure. I, have um, a, I plus, might. I have a I, plus four. I have a plus five. There we go. I there we go. Like, finally, there's my man. Just, all and right. Then, of course, we want guidance on were, this as well. Were you we getting assisted? Was that was that the call? Because if if so, only if somebody has if somebody oh, has. Um... I'm, pro I'm proficient. Oh, there I, you go. I, I did say I was trying to assist. Okay, yeah, I didn't catch that. The Can wolves else see like literally everything because twenty is showing me literally everything. Oh, where I mean. are you? is it? Because where you were standing. What about now? I, I just see the entire map. You can see through the walls? Yeah, there's no darkness for me right now. What about now? Let's see, if I reload, should the wolves fix it? Anyway. Uh, okay, we're back. We're back. So the wolves are free, and they provoke... As they dart out of the cave. Somebody say provoke. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yes, like crass. They run right help. past you. <laughs> Speaking of which, crass, how are we doing? Been kind of quiet over there. Uh, I'm good. I was just trying to figure out because roll twenty has been like super laggy, but it turns out I turned off hardware acceleration. At some yeah, point. that'll that does. Uh, yeah, I know so exactly what you I, mean. I just I finally just finished it, not but like a minute ago. So now it's still working. All right. The wolves are free. Uh, they may come. Is, they may come up later. We'll see. Is there anything else? All right, havoc and let slip the wolves of war. It looks like it gets a little narrow ahead. Yes, where does this tunnel go? Piss ran away and is hiding. Yeah, he's back. If you want to, if you oh, call yeah, him back. He ran past me, so. If you, if you want. Over here. Ugh. Oh, jeez. He said leave and hide. Oh, jeez. And I said I get over here. You anymore. didn't get eaten by the wolves, did you? I'd say it was pretty good advice. Oh, man. Do the wolves veer off and kill Piss? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful? Christ um, wouldn't stop it if it's <laughs> Oh no, stop. Oh, piss now. Not piss. I'm gonna tuck my little girl in real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sure. Uh on the other side of this is Clark, but this Let's wall collapsed. Token. I deleted your token just to see if you could if that was what was causing you to see everything. How about now? Yeah, no, I uh I don't see everything. I see my token though. Okay. Do you, can you see the okay. map? Like, can you see what everybody else sees? I can see the map. Okay. All right. Perfect. Not the uh, entire map, but just the map here. Perfect. Piss tells you that this wall collapsed a while ago, but on the other side of it is where Clark would be. So we will go kill Clark. Yes. Perfect. 
Um, I'm going to go uh... check out this body right here. Okay. Roll. Oh, I think I actually. Uh, yep. Investigation yeah, for this one. You've got a message on it. Can I assist? I do have a. I do have yeah, a message. Proficient. If you're proficient, you can you can give him advantage. Uh, the bones belong to a dwarf. Appears to have been killed by goblin raiders, looted, and fed to the wolves. This, no. This no dwarf. I was just getting to that. This dwarf appears unrelated to the rock seekers. <laughs> there is I'm, among the or among the bones, you do see a satchel that has been left of very good quality. This may not be a Gundren dwarf, but he does have good taste. I'm gonna grab a satchel. The satchel. The satchel again. It's uh, made of fine leather. Very good quality satchel. Could probably sell for a bit. Uh, does this detect this magic? The or there is magic inside the satchel, but the mag the satchel itself does not. Well, click the satchel. There's open. something magical inside the the bag. What's inside? Inside the satchel, you find two antitoxin, a bag of green yellow dust. That's where that's where the magic is emanating. A book. And that's it. That's what's in the satchel. Uh, Among the bones, the dwarf skull has golden teeth inside of it. And he's wearing a holy symbol. Uh, what day? Ah, spoiled it. I didn't mean to say holy symbol. Wait, yeah. okay. Among the bones, you find a steel amulet with the carved image of a gemstone inside of a mountain. I'll need a religion to identify the holy symbol. That be me. I am religious. Um, <laughs> anyone else have better religion? Because mine's kind of bad. I, I have one. Oh, not so religious, huh? I have a <laughs> negative <four. laughs> Are you questioning that man's faith? So, I, I suppose I will try. I have a plus Never mind, well. never mind. Uh, it is a steel amulet. It is a holy symbol. Carved image of a gemstone inside of a mountain. The gemstone itself is real, and it is an emerald. You are unsure whose holy symbol this. You are you're unsure the deity. Probably yep. some obscure dwarven deity. Something to do with dwarves and mountains. Those are rarely alike. <laughs> I would like to identify this dust. Casting identify? Yes. Sprinkling this dust over your head makes you appear as a goblin. Oh. How many uses does it have? Ten. How long does yeah. this last? Till your next short rest. I can well, use well. Yes, should we use it now? Uh, if so, I call it being freak. I'll be dirt. Can I not be pissed? Him before we pounded him into. Nope, you have to be pissed still. Okay. Sorry, piss. <laughs> Unless it makes you look like a different goblin. Maybe. Can we try? Uh, is is that in the so dust? We don't have. There are ten applications. This, this thing. I will. We have five of us. Them. That means we can do it twice, unless we let piss in. We can do it once. I have to do it for science. I say putting some dust on him. Oh. You are putting. You are using. You're applying. Yes. I need to know if it makes him a different goblin. All right, you sprinkle dust over over Piss's forehead. He sneezes. It has no effect. Sorry, Piss. Crass, as you scan the remains with your previous investigation, you realize that the goblins left this left this stuff behind for a reason. They must have noticed the bag of green and yellow dust and attempted to use it and realized that it had no effect on goblins. Which is why it remains. 
The book right. you can assume because they don't read, and the teeth you can assume because the decay wasn't far enough for them to notice. I open the book and uh, see what's see what it says. The title of the book is Strangers of Desire. It's a diary written by a succubus detailing the pleasure points of various races. Mm-hmm. It is a very okay. famous book among the Sword Coast. Oh, that's okay. a good book. It is. It is a well known. Uh, <laughs> it is a well known novel. Highly recommend Chapter Four. The lusty lizard folk. Ooh, are lizard folk present? Are you checking? <laughs> you, oh, if you it was awkward, know. I am definitely so wait, not checking. <laughs> if I, if I hear if I hear that, I'm just gonna peek at the table of contents. I was more making a reference to the lusty Argonian maid. If there was uh, anything specific in there that needed to be found, I guarantee you, I found it. <laughs> you scan through the book looking for reference to lizard folk. Um, Ian, what would be Next. the pleasure point of a lizard folk? About halfway down the cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought you were you just asked. doing a little flap thing under the chin. The be, the succubus makes control. makes a note of her exploration of the lizard folk bodies. Very was most likely done time. against their will. This is oh, absurd. Yes, these are. <laughs> These are very well done diagrams, and it disturbs me greatly. Using the book, um, also sneaking it into my backpack. <laughs> this is disgusting. Greatly disturbed. <laughs> Slide it. Oh, hide it. <laughs> set it on the set it on the I nightstand. Have... <laughs> yes, uh, I was there, but I was only there to get directions out of there. <laughs> is it only? Pleasure get feels is by killing, killing cake. And uh, okay. what would that be? A mind flare. Uh, oh. For you istics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here's hoping we don't, I don't run want into any villains today. But there's probably there in the book involving the tentacles of a mind flare. So I'm oh, not going gosh. to check. Your I morbid to curiosity keep my brain inside. <laughs> It's one way to give head. Anyhow, um... mind blown. <laughs> All right, what are we? What are we doing? <laughs> Roll the recharge six. Don't make me sit here and come up with every come up with yeah. descriptions for this entire book. I want it typed out by next session. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we're moving forward. Sounds good. I guess we're all applying the uh, dust also. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, almost forgot. I do not wish to become an istic. We might be able to save some of our magic substance if perhaps someone were to pretend to be a prisoner. Fine, I will act as prisoner, but I will not be willing. Uh, I... how, did, how did that guy talk again? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm going to feed your balls to you. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> I think he said eat our children, which made little sense as I have not had children that I know of. Yes, I think that's why they got sure? that rock throwing much. As I do not birth eggs or lay eggs. Oh. If Elf. someone were to come in with prisoners, then I'm sure that uh, they would be directed to where prisoners are taken. Let's hope we're not expected to know where prisoners are going, because that will be a bit awkward. Right. Uh, uh, are there, uh, like, a, uh, cells or something? Holding area? Nah. He's tied to a post. Go. Where is the post? It's further in. Thank you, Pius. Very helpful. Great. Um, I think we're just going to be applying that to everyone who's not a Gith Yankee. <laughs> and 
Do they not? As the wordistic means, everyone that's not a githyanki. <laughs> All right, so you're all taking on the appearance of goblins, with the exception of Kachatruk. Yep. Do we, like, tie him up something? Look, uh... Tie the knot loose so I can break free. Huh? Of course, of We've course. got these rusty chains here. He can just act like they're tied around these wrists. Good idea. You guys are smart. You, s you have much more use than you... Show, Sater. I'm not a particularly smart man, but I have a good idea every now and then. I... I will be, quote-unquote, restrained. <laughs> All right. Are there any uh, common goblin words that we should know and maybe sprinkle into our language when we are transporting this person? Actually, what, what do we get on the? Me, Sorry, go ahead. You just gave me an idea. You had me pick up all of these scimitars and everything. Would you guys like to hold on to them? Make <laughs> us look a lot more like we just came in from raiding. Yes, gimme. Yeah. So we're gonna arm up with goblin scimitars to reinforce the uh, the the act. Now I get to be the warrior. You are no knight yet. Well, when can I be a knight? Exactly ascended either, so uh, when don't Black see a dragon Black. you're riding. He scratches his back with the scimitar. This thing's sharp. Be careful, the there, swords are. Okay, are we going? Let us you go. guys have control I, I of your tokens. Going. We're going. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to move your tokens for you. The, the prisoner is going to be up front. <laughs> you know, like, play better if I'm, like, in the middle. Okay. Prisoner, here we go. Time to way. feed you to your children. As you make your way further up, you reach the light source coming from further in. Torches in sconces on the wall. Up ahead, stand by for description. A thin suspension bridge over a yawning chasm connects two passageways overhead. Narrow planks have been placed end to end, attached by short lines to pair to a pair of thick, sturdy ropes. Most of the steps look worn and splintered. It's hard to tell how old the bridge is or the last time it was serviced. A goblin on one end of the bridge pulls back her bowstring causing a luminescent arrow to manifest before firing it into a practice dummy on the other side of the bridge. The harmonious twang of the bowstring echoes through the cave. Great. You're back. Yep. Uh, us find, uh, find us a post to tie this one up. She don't give orders around here. She stands up yeah, straight with her with her bow pointed toward you and says, "What did you say to me?" We're looking. No, he's. Don't you see? We have a prisoner here. I'm. I'm. I'm afraid that he started on the drinking too early. <laughs> I'm trying out. with his performance. You I'm know, proficiency. <laughs> She disregards you, but she does launch an arrow into Antoine as a lesson. But does she? Yes, right. she does. That oh does indeed hit. For, for nine. Uh, In the, a perfect shot into your hamstring. Yeah, and that's enough to take me down. <laughs> does the end once you're watching you go down the, uh, the, <laughs> the skies? We'll say this disguise remains. <laughs> um, I'll go walk over and help him up and um, give him a point of lay hands, I guess, while I'm helping him up. Kachadok just starts laughing at the uh, at him going down. You got this so um, weak. <laughs> I'm gonna kick him in the shin and I'm gonna kick a 
our gift Yankee friend in the shin. Shut up, you. You won't get this. It's the kick piss. to kick me. I will piss. rip your throat out. Piss moves up to you. That's Zerga. That's the Valkyrie. Don't mess with her. Oh, good. Good timing. I say, getting up and like, does the arrow still there? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, wait, no, it's the, those arrows disappear when they, like they impact, they remain for a moment and then they vanish. She ignores you and goes back to firing at the target. Which way? We gotta go further up. Under the bridge. Okay. It go it goes around. We'll lead on Great. A um bit. We're gonna be doing that, I guess. Let's uh let's down. Oh, by the way, whenever Speak With Animals is cast, this is going to be relevant in a moment. Um, I'm going to rule that it kind of works on the whole party so that, you, so that everybody can participate in the conversation because I'm going to be throwing a lot of animals at you. And with that being said, as you move closer to this steep passageway off to your left, my favorite character in the whole campaign. A beholder. <laughs> I just... Easily six feet long and coiled on a ledge above you, sleepy and silent. The snake feels a change in heat. She licks the air for a scent as the wedge of her head rises, aiming her mesmerizing eyes at you. Her neck smoothly curves back, tongue flicking, body braced. Uh, where is uh, this snake? I'm getting her. Right here. If you're just walking past, past her and ignores and ignoring her, she just watches you as you pass. Yeah, let's just ignore his favorite right. character. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's a great idea. That cool. Oh, she'll come back. <laughs> I will bring her back. <laughs> give her, give her the silent treatment every time we come across her. All right, uh, is crass, anyone approaching? Crass will approach. crass will approach. I wasn't expecting guests. Well, we're here now, and fear not, cold one. For I join you, but I'm covered in this powder that made me so look like a freaking goblin. I see. I'll give it to you eventually. Well, you certainly look delicious. I may look delicious, but that is what a this disguise. My true form is much less appetizing and much more of a struggle. She definitely However, seems she definitely seems skeptical, but the more you talk, the more she realized you're probably not a goblin. Roll a nature check. Very good at Pass. Twenty five. Queen could swallow an entire party member in minutes, and the goblin in her stomach is probably alive. You see the lump of a goblin as you're speaking to her. You see the lump of a goblin with a horrified face. Is one face. Good enough for now, or do you care to have more? One what, dear? Also, queen is poisonous. Or venomous, excuse me. Highly venomous. We'll just gesture to the lump in her belly. I'm full for now. But I'll eat... One of them later. Do they if you're offering offering to you or no. In I'll a way. Tell I'll tell you there are a few tasty uh watchmen that we left outside the entrance if you're hungry soon. I will keep that in mind. 
fair, his name is Peace. Probably taste how he looks. No, no, the ones we killed out there. These goblins here seem to have a friend of ours. Human folk. We are going to retrieve it. Um, I imagine many of these goblins are going to die in the process and want to make sure we leave you a good one. The one over on the bridge there seems to be a little special. Might taste extra nice if you wanted to uh, do that and help us out in the process. I do love a tasty goblin. In goblin. that case... Goblin a goblin. In that case, there are a number of goblins up that ledge there. Do a gal a favor and leave them alive for me. I can do that. Seven. You know you are a hero. No. She tells you seven. She says no, and I intend to keep it that way. A goblin goes missing every once in a while. They don't question it. Do you know this place well, or? I do. I don't suppose you have seen our human compatriot who was recently abducted. Ah, uh, there was a dwarf as well. Oh, sorry, wrong accent. <laughs> wrong Top. character. <laughs> Switching back. It's like... <laughs> Top of the top of the cliff, dears. And watch your step. Thank you for your assistance. It's been a pleasure. She hisses at you. And what what did you say her name? She is. Oh, tell me her name is not showing. It is Queen. Her name's. Yes, Queen. I just you know. Oh, asking her. You can call me Queen, dear. Really, it's been a pleasure. So far. Uh, hope to be feeding you soon. Not personally, but like you, I think we understand each other. Anyhow, <laughs> goodbye. Let us continue. Further forward, let me remove this wall. All right, you should be able to move in. I don't want to be the first one in because I'm the prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Uh, be... All right. As you enter this cavern, water gushes from a ledge 15 feet up into the pools of stunningly bright blue water that make up half of this cavern. Two women in goblin half plates rest near the water's edge. In the darkest corner of the cave, two wolves lift their head in anticipation, awaiting the kill command from their mother. Piss whispers, It's the other Valkyries. Uh, Kaldok, uh, spits at the floor. Don't, uh, mess with them. They are very irritable. <clears throat> Might have gone the wrong way. Oh, here comes Hugo. Piss says this way. That way it is then. What are they doing in here? Just hanging out by the water? Aggie, on the far end of the cave, appears to be carrying, uh, appears to be grooming her wolves. Mezca is throwing, is throwing stones, bored, throwing stones into the water. And Zerga was on watch at the bridge, fire, practicing with her bow. Her bow is clearly magical, okay. if you couldn't tell. As a matter of fact, all three of the Valkyries are wearing, I don't know if I said this, goblin half plate 
And two of them are wielding spears. One of them is wielding a bow. Are any other things magical? Their spears are magical. Their spears are clearly magical, and Zerga's bow is clearly magical. Okay. Um, I think we're going to be leaving them alone for now. Uh, yes. She she eyes all of you up if she as you walk past. I'm like gravely wounded. <laughs> what? Uh, did I create? Is there, is there a wall in the way? Yes. Yeah, my bad. Uh, Crass, following the rear, you overhear Zerga tell Mezka more prisoners. Uh. Zerga tells Mezka more prisoners. This is probably going to solve or start um, create more problems for us. Push forward. Uh, uh, Crash, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just, after hearing that, I'm just going to kind of keep following these guys to kind of leave them on their own. Okay. The, the cave oh. continues into darkness. I'm going to remove the last wall. I forgot to organize these. All right, continuing on. Let me remove this wall as well. Behind Queen. She reminds me of a snake from the, uh, the Jungle Book. <laughs> I can't remember that snake's name, actually. But I know what you're talking about. Uh, in call, this... Call. In this cavern, the air is hazy with the smoke of a cooking fire and pungent from the smell of poorly cured meats and unwashed goblins. A long set of stairs rise from the floor, a gradual incline leading to a higher level of the cavern. At its peak, a goblin stands with a scimitar held high. Behold the power of the stone! Emerald flames crackle at the hilt before crawling towards the tip of the blade as the goblin's eyes reflect the same energy. Urk holds his now green flaming scimitar triumphantly in the air. Oh, fuck yes. I feel so fucking powerful right now. As soon as he says the power of the stone, my head turns like 90 degrees <laughs> sideways. The other goblins begin to cheer as Urk continues to w swing his f green flaming scimitar in the air. That green flame blade, or they appear to what be. What would make you think that? Uh, <laughs> well, it's just a hunch, you know. It could be. Does that stone look perhaps familiar at all? You heard him mention a stone granting him power, but you don't see the stone from here. You also see Sildar alive and, well, tied to a post at the end of the cavern. But no sign of our dwarven friend, huh? No sign of the dwarf. Work he was hard. taken to the castle. Took him to the castle. Urk continues to give his sermon. You begin to realize that he's a part of some sort of cult that worships a stone, and the stone itself is giving him warlock powers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to yell anything out in case someone shoots me with an arrow. Uh, 
uh, I, I'm gonna like pick up a stone and like whisper into it, like, show it to us. And then I'm gonna like throw it over by Krola. <laughs> Krola doesn't <laughs> see it. Ah, Booyak! She kicks the stone and then slaps Sildar, assuming that he was the one that, that's doing it. Does the stone just continue? Like, I, I want to set it to just do it once. Okay. <laughs> but to be like, show me the stone! Yeah, Krola's like, Booyak! Stop it, you! And starts roughing up Sildar. You want to see something? Someone gets hurt. You want to see the stone? He like leans back. Oh, by the way, as you pour in, this brazier's fire slowly starts to turn green. Green flame brazier. Oh. That's a cantrip I know of. Yep. <laughs> not not the one of the blade variant though. Urk holds a massive stone in the air. Gaze upon its power. The stone could resembles I, that on the cover of the book and of the cover I, um, of the adventure. Could I, put like, uh, uh, telekinesis push it out of his hand if he's holding it up? Hmm. I'm going to say it's a... Here also. Hmm. Uh, my, my, uh, it, my thing is a nonverbal or somatic, too, so... <laughs> Um, yes, you can push the stone. Any saves required? Because it's a DC 11 strength check. Uh, we'll just say that you push the stone and he drops it, but <laughs> drops it on the ground in front of him. <laughs> he plays it off I, like he uh, did it on purpose and then puts his foot on the stone and waves his flaming the sword. Stone, can I do the exact same thing again <laughs> to make it look like he places it and it slips he has to uh. um okay the stone moves he places his foot on the ground instead looks at the stone awkwardly booyah <laughs> the stone speaks ah nasty booyah who's doing that <laughs> he like he immediately assumes the new people that have just walked in with the prisoner. Oh, it must, Who it are you? Just over here <laughs> and I it? slapped Sildar in a, such a way that does no damage. So you guys are impersonating Frick, Frack, and Dirt. Dirt, and Dirt. Frick, Frack, Dirt. Yeah, you've it's got a one very good impersonation. And what? And one extra that nobody knows. And Fuck this guy, am I right? And I slap him. <laughs> yeah. Crawler slaps him. Urk walks up to the edge of the cliff and says, Who is this? Points at the prisoner. That is someone we captured during our last ambush. Just a, like, well, hours ago, right? in fact. Seems special, so we thought boss would want to keep him alive. Is he get us more? More. Yemek, the goblin on the left, speaks up. See this? More prisoners that Clark has us going out and collecting. For what? This place will be overrun with humans. Disgusting. Humans. Humans. Booyag and whatnot. We must resist not just Clark, but all bugbear oppression. Well, what about the Valkyries? There's a, <laughs> Goblin rights. There's a dead silence. There's a dead... <laughs> There's a tense oh, silence the across the crowd as he makes like, <clears throat> they can stay. Uh, insight. 
<laughs> yeah, def he's definitely inside. Double do that. He's scared. I can do the inside. <laughs> <laughs> He's been this, shot before. This man is standing on the edge of the cliff preaching about overthrowing the current leader of the cave and is scared shitless of the idea of somebody calling. Like the balls on somebody to say, what about the Valkyries? <laughs> He's like, damn, I thought I was like, let's let's dial it back. Let's bring it back. Let's one problem at a time. Let's just get rid of the bugbear. I want to pick that fight. I ain't about that. Why? <laughs> yeah, he'll end with why. <laughs> Just checking. Oh my god. Gimmick. I just thought of something. I do that very much, but I have an idea. See. Which one are you? Prisoners. Uh, I am right now. Um, Which one? Sorry, you broke up. I'm dirt. Dirt? Okay, he seems responsive. All right, I'm listening, Dirt. We don't want the prisoners here. Our liability, too much effort to keep it imprisoned, and just not a good time for any of us. That's what I'm saying. I'm Kick them the and the bugbears out. The prisoners don't want to be here either. One of, the, going with this? one of the goblins it's in the crowd says, who cares what they want? Yeah. They could perhaps help us. It's our little problem of having the bugbear oppression. Mimic puts a finger on his chin. Hmm. Do a diplomacy? Or Say again? Uh... What are you, you trying to persuade him to release the prisoners? Yeah, and uh, so we all gang up and try to take down the... Okay. Um, not yet. Nemec will walk down the steps. So what do you think, human? Are you ready to help? He spits in the goblin's face. That's not going to work. Um, he gives Sildar a, a swift punch. A human will slow us down anyways. Yeah! I I've been talking the whole time, and I, I've been muted. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I, said, I said I'd rather be dead than be a prisoner to goblins. Uh, let's just uh, feed him to the wolves, huh? <laughs> Urk points his green flame blade at, uh, at you. Chat and says, "Oh, that's coming." But we have work. We have more use out of you first. We got to get a little bit more out of you first before we get to that point. Make okay, the new but... prisoner fight with us, then we take him slave. There we go. That's a great idea. Good on Irk. Yeah, how tall is the the ledge they're on the the cliff? Uh, twenty feet. Okay. Um. Do they look strong? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just abusing telekinesis. <laughs> I've extended range too because I already have the cantrip. I have, I believe, sixty feet. Uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push uh the guy with the green flame blade uh off. I am going to say it. that it will be obvious that you're the one doing it at that point. Okay, yeah, then I won't do that if that's obvious. <laughs> um can I inspect Whatever is binding Sildar. Just simple rope tied to a post. Okay. Sticking up out of the ground. Does it look like his weapon is nearby? There is a chest behind you. He's wearing his armor, but not his weapon. Uh, I'm gonna just, like, whisper to him. <laughs> like, I don't know if it Really, the goal. You're breaking up. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm whispering IRL. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, hey, uh, we're, we are here to help. It's, it's just the guards that you hire, but uh, cleverly disguised as goblin. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you're doing great. Oh, 
Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, we'll save the notes for in case. He's got like lie. a black eye. <laughs> Spits out some blood and a tooth. Yeah. Funny. This rescue's going funny. well. Uh, okay. Well, I will take your notes if you survive. Which I hope you do, just, you know, for the record. Why are we waiting? Down with the bugbear! <laughs> yes, up with goblin this? rights! Seize uh, the means of goblin production! Nice. But not the Valkyries! We have yes. the green flame! Except for them! <laughs> Stone empowers us! The goblins, the crowd, seems a bit confused. The... What you get, the read that you get from the room, is that they want Clark gone, but none of them have the guts to, like, go deal with it. Like, they're all basically just waiting, like, all right, who's going to go start the fight? And they're probably going to just wait. See. What you can gather is they're going to goblin this. They're going to watch, see what happens, and then <laughs> choose the side of whoever wins. Okay, okay. Only a handful of them really seem committed. Irk? Seems to be bloodthirsty with his green flame blade. There is a... You notice a warlock in the crowd, Trenza, who also seems eager to get in Clark's face. But the others are like, yeah, you know, when do... Like, one of them, I'll even, like one of them even speaks up. We'll say Grease speaks up. So when do we get powers? <laughs> when do we get powers, Eric? Who do we have to kill? Worship the stone and you will be granted great power. Arcana. Oh. And a religion. I need a religion and an arcana. And a religion. I'm going arcana. 13. Hey, th well, I want you to re-roll that because I want you to know that the DC is going to go as high as 30. Holy roll. So if you want to spin anything into it. Uh, inspirations, anyone? Oh, yeah. You know what? I'll do inspiration. So... I need to know. Wonderful religion. Twenty-six. Oh, oh my holy. gosh! <laughs> Let's go. Look at you. Need to get the thirty. Get him, get, get him a guidance. <laughs> yeah, can you get a four on that guidance? Get the whole thing. Bro, that would be insane. I'm actually kind of excited. I did not expect. <laughs> oh my gosh! It was so oh. close. It was so close. All right, well, you're gonna get a lot. This stone was once a part of an ancient Netherese obelisk. It radiates with godlike aberrant energy from the far realm. Oh wow. Oh. Oh. The goblins don't know it yet, but the source of their warlock those of you that those of them that have embraced the stone and have began worshiping it and receiving power are clearly not receiving it from the stone itself, but from some force within the far realm. Hmm. Talking some sort of elder God. <laughs> that would, that is one of the forces of the far realm. Okay. Okay. Oh, is this just getting boring? Kill me already. Uh, well, while he is making a distraction, I'm going to attempt to, like, just, like, prop the scimitar up in such a way that Sildar can, like, use it to cut his bindings. He's on it. All right. Well, I don't know about any of you. But I am going to go take down the bugbear. Ooh. Roll. Roll a... Man, what would that be? I guess persuasion. Unless unless you don't plan on taking the money, it'd be deception. Oh, no, I absolutely do. Roll up persuasion. That's going to be a high DC. Great. Um, want to assist me with this? With, like, also... I'm afraid I'm not very persuasive. I, I could try and assist. A am I allowed to assist with this kind of check? You can. He can get. He can get advantage if you have. You can assist if you have persuasion. If you have the. Um, if you're proficient. Oh yeah, I've got a plus five. I'm. I'm good. Nice. 
Maybe you should do this then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What dirt, what dirt said. Now's the time. We have the power of the stone. Very convincing. DC twenty. Hey, I'm gonna guidance him also. Okay. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you got guidance. guidance so yeah. You pass. That is a twenty. You have their attention. They will follow. Some will follow. Where did we put those health potions, I say, looking in the uh chest? <laughs> I I would have already kicked his ass if I if I had one. I say rifling through the chest. Sildar is free at this point. I hope he's not moving. He he, he leaves his hands way. behind the post and just kind of looks across the room like, "Let's go." Right. Uh, what do I see in the chest? Oh, looking. It's, okay, it's sorry, open. it's locked. Ah, uh, uh, where do we leave the key to this thing? Uh, Send us to camp. We'll get it. <laughs> Send to camp. <laughs> Crack it up in like next level. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, you're asking where the key is. Storing all the dead bodies. Uh, Yimik, Yimik will yell at you. Get away from my chest. Well, uh, you don't want us to be well armed when we uh, do the resistance. We have the stone. We don't need. There's no well, weapons in that some chest. Of us have the stone. Yeah, Let's Urkel, speak up. The stone will late. give you all the power you need. Out of the way, piss. Oh, jeez. Can I not? <laughs> piss, piss steps back onto the ledge, which gives way under his feet, and he slides down. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, the snake is going to eat him for sure. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm okay. It was nice knowing you. Let's go. I'm not Is moving y'all's tokens. What are y'all doing? <laughs> y all doing? Their, uh... oh, wait, wrong way. Piss, come Lead up. the way. No, I don't think he's. He, he fell. What are you? You're way. on a you're on a cliff right now, um, Elrin. Oh, that's a cliff. Yeah, he like the rocks okay. gave way under his feet and he slid down. And went like collapsing down towards the towards the stream. Oh, I totally forgot to, to mention. I'm so sorry I forgot to mention this. Um, this is just going to be a recall of my observant one. Who's got a perception? A roll of perception. Uh, yes, someone else can do perception. I'll assist, I guess. Uh, advantage. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's the T4. <laughs> um, the one more 12 12 right. you noticed that zerga was wearing the other tourmaline earring oh uh. like a communication thing perhaps roll uh, an investigation for this one uh i do have identity I have to detect magic also. It's non magical. Geisha. Investigation. 19. The Zerga. So the, the earring is clearly made in Neverwinter. It wasn't made here. It was stolen from a caravan at some point. And Zerga must have taken it from Clark's supply and then lost one of the earrings off of the bridge. So it fell off of the bridge into the water, and then the water carried it where you found it. Right. Maybe we can chunk her. All right. What's everybody doing? You have control. You're all goblins, and you have control of your tokens. What are you doing? Uh, um, going through that. Um, uh, say, not that one, queen. I run past. <laughs> She hisses oh. at you. You know what? As I, before I leave Sildar, I'm going to leave 
a dose of the dust. Do they um leave the stone behind, or is one of them carrying the stone? They leave the stone behind. Um, I had I'm originally thought of that like before you asked. Yeah, I'm going to um I, I obviously have to stay in here because I'm a prisoner, so uh, I will wait till they're gone unless they don't follow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, one of them will even point out, "Hey, who's going to tie up this prisoner?" No, uh, I will take care of it. I night. Tie him very. I'll make sure he takes care of it. And <laughs> I'm waiting for everyone to pass. <laughs> All right. And Elrin and A Close are leading the goblins to the bugbear. Yeah, I'm going to hold up the rear. But I'm just... All right. They're following. Give Sildar a dose of the. Uh... Forward! Goblin dust. Like, uh, you can fight with us as a goblin or if you are oh. injured. Sorry, go ahead. I just remembered something. If you are injured, you can just uh, run for your life. But first, tell us what you know. <laughs> the minute they, like, like you hear him turn the corner, Catalog goes, finally. And he just, like, rips the, the chains off. <laughs> All right, real quick. Crass. You weren't able to piece this together with your investigation role earlier, but now that you've seen all the pieces. Queen is venomous. You saw... What else did you see? You saw the stone. Queen is venomous. Hold on, let me pull up my notes. You saw... All right. The, the dwarf was carrying antitoxin, a goblin disguise, and after seeing everything in the cave, you realize that this dwarf was on his way to this cave. Hmm. Was clearly on his way to this cave. Something special about this cave. Oh, grab the torch. Uh, who can carry this stone? This is uh, well, yeah, when they, when they leave, artifact. When they leave, Kachalik would just like run up to the stone. This could be it. This could be what I was looking for. What you were looking for? This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> you don't understand. I will be promoted to Kithrak if I bring this back. You are correct. I have no idea what that is. Therefore, definitionally, do not understand. A hey, captain. Right. Uh, well, this thing, if it is what I believe it is, is capable of burning civilization. So, uh, are we anyway, getting stopped? Intercepted? You're getting stopped, but I'm wait I'm waiting on a. I'm letting them two finish. Not saying that we, gotcha, we can't uh, share it, perhaps, or. But at least just let me study it before. You may study it, but I must bring it back to Blacketh. Sildar picks up uh, picks up the scimitar that you gave him to saw his ropes. Puts it in his, tries to fit it in his, um, the sheath of his longsword. Fails. Says, All right. Are we leaving? What are we doing? That would be preferable, but we must wait until the battle commences. I believe we are overthrowing uh, <laughs> these goblins, so if you want to participate in the melee, you may apply some of that dust to yourself and you will look like a goblin. Otherwise, uh, you can participate in the melee all the same, I suspect. I, uh, I put the dust in my inventory and send it to camp. As uh, what's his funny? Face All right, so that's what's going on at the back there. All right, Elrin Zerga steps in front of you after seeing this horde of goblin marching across this rope bridge towards towards Clark. Zerga steps in. The wolves are alert. All of the Valkyries are kind of looking at you like, "What is this?" 
Um, Elrin, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're the one that's kind of leading this mob. Yeah. All right. Zerga will stop you. And you are dirt. Uh, yes. All right. She'll stop you. What are you doing, dirt? What is this? Yes. Gesture to like all the goblins. Yes. Um, well, you see, you know how prisoners are getting to be a burden on all of us? No. I think I overheard you talking about that. No, I don't know that. They, um, were they talking about that or did I just hear something? Zerga wasn't. <laughs> Zerga didn't have to deal with prisoners. Yeah. <laughs> so she says, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. What prisoners? The big boss keeps having us capture people. Uh huh. Getting very irritating. And what are you planning on doing about it? Well, we're seeing if the big boss could be replaced by bigger boss. <laughs> no. I understand where you're coming from, but I think it would be. Better if it were. Uh, yeah, Urk steps forward with his green fire sword. Yeah. New commander. New man in charge now. The stone will command us. I will command us. I speak for the stone. I am the Lorax. The stone. <laughs> the. All right. How does this play out? Um. All right. Yeah. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> because Urk is going to swing at Mesca and regret it soon. Oh, dear. You never know. Yeah, Urk, Urk will move up with his sword and say, all right, enough talk. Time to fuck. <laughs> all right. Grass will choke on his pipe. <laughs> <laughs> that, that damn book. Everybody read it. <laughs> Didn't read it. <laughs> Everybody read it. <laughs> There we go. Right. You know, we're going to kill my Valkyries. It work for me. What? To be fair, she killed me first. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to fight with one earring off. Actually, so... Urk and Yemek appear to be in charge of this mob. Urk is the cult leader and Yemek is just like wants to take over, take Clark's position. The three Valkyries are appear indifferent, but are required to appear loyal. So they're going to try and stop this uprising. So at this point, to be clear, you can choose. This is the point of no return as far as choosing a side. Um, I asked, I asked who has if the, you we're going to. Who has the earring? The the party well, has the earring. Well, yeah. Whoever, yeah, I mean, yeah, fine. Whoever's going. Really? Egg, egg Um, <laughs> Crass would be like, see if she'll uh, let us pass. Give her that earring. Oh, I found I. I found this out by the entrance, and then I'll I'll, I'll pull it out. Isn't this yours? <gasps> she moves the brazier. I'm gonna move it. You found my earring. Throws the brazier out of the way. <laughs> my earring. <laughs> How sweet of you. Now die. 
<laughs> no, no, die. All right. You've uh keeps for posing. <laughs> <laughs> Lady killer over here for Steph. Does Stephanie know about Zerga? Does your dryad know about Stephanie? Know about Zerga? No, none of them know Please. about each other, and Please it's wonderful. Nobody tells Sasha. <laughs> Hose up and down. Sword coast. All right, we're going to continue. So we're going to continue initiative, initiative because Urk is going to fight. Right now, Urk is picking a fight with the Valkyries, and the Valkyries are going to respond in kind. I can tell, you can tell that mm, uh, quite a few of these goblins are not interested in that fight and are going to run away. I <laughs> think. I think Urk is more, prob more trouble than he's may have outlived his usefulness. He is crazed. It happened. He is it crazed by Eldritch energy. So at this point, I'm just going to roll initiative and then do what all these goblins are going to. Goblins are going to take their turns doing what they do. But Holy shit! My I just is not rolling. You know, your dice are on fire. I just want to get know. it out there oh, that you. What the <laughs> fuck? Oof. Man, at least those aren't attack rolls. Am I right? These are all just people that are going to run away. Did I get Crawler? My initiative has not been rolling. Did you click your token? Yes, I am clicked on the token. That's all I got. Are you rolling it off of D&D Beyond? Uh, with the... Uh, thingy. Did I get Ark? I wish I had, I wish I had your dice when I'm DMing, because I was like... Like, my players are facing Tiamat, like, in the final session of Tyranny of Dragons, and, like, she just could not hit anything besides her fire breath. And I'm like, what? All right. Let's move this along. Gimmick is going to fire Eldritch Blast at Zerga. And Miss Merg is going to run. Is, he, is anybody going to take an attack of op? He's just going to dash. He's jumping off the... the... Well, he's, he's going to, like, run past the... I'll you. Take of opportunity. <laughs> take that attack. Okay. If he, if he runs fast, yeah. Let me see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he'll run past you. Natural 20. I believe that is a dead goblin. <laughs> and it is your turn, Beef, while I roll some of these NPC swings. Sam, okay. what should I do for initiative? Oh, man, you still ain't got it working? <laughs> what is... Okay, How... I'm going to hold my action if any of them run past me. I try to run towards me, at least. All right, you got... What did you get? You got a 21? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, wait, no. oh sorry, my bad. You're... Wait, you said you're going to hold your action for... For if they run pa past, because I feel like I'm going to die if I... Because <laughs> I was the prisoner. Okay. Uh, Elrin. Um, we just had uh, um, let's go and pull the dead on Urk. Okay. Um, so that's a wisdom save. <laughs> Got a 15. Okay, that's a successful save. Um, so I'm going to try to push him. Uh, okay. With telekinesis. Um, okay. That's the same DC, but strength. That one. Okay, Let's yeah, he's sh shoved uh, five feet. Okay, will that be your turn? That will be my turn. Mezka is going to move up on Yemek. Mezka is going to provoke from you. Um, Aglos. If Did you are she interested. just now move into my, my range? I she, don't think she was in it before. Did... Where was she? It was there. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She, yeah, she, sorry, yeah, she's going to provoke from Elrin. 
I'm not stupid. I'm not taking that. Okay. I'm not. Uh, I'm stupid, but I'm not taking that. I, I I guess now we're, you know, going fighting with the Valkyries. I mean, and wipe using them to wipe out the 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 other ones. No better. I'm just hey, I'm just rolling initiative, and I'm gonna do what the goblins are gonna do. You guys, and I'm gonna respond to how you how you respond because I'm unsure who's side drawn at this point. But Mezca, oh but the Valkyries have a clear target. Urk and Yemek need to go. The other goblins are running away. Trinza will remain. But yeah, I, I'll, I'll get to that. But the rest of you, um, Antoine. Uh, oh, um. Oh, I forgot the wolves, man. I am afflicted. Yeah. All right. I will. Uh, nice, right at, at the bottom. I'm going to attempt to shove her into the pool. Okay. Yeah. Yes. A seven. You got a 15. Uh, so I like pat him on the back and I'm like, okay, good, good luck. <laughs> Do you provoke from him? <laughs> oh, actually, I'm, I'll stay behind him like I'm backing him up. Okay. Rancher's going to run. Let's see. Uh, Crash, what are you doing over here? This one's running. How long is the, how far is the drop from down here? 20 feet. 20 feet. I'm going to try to, like, just put my foot out. <laughs> okay. Let's do a... Hmm. Let's do an athletics to put, to get them off. And then a... Yeah, I mean, yeah, just do an athletics. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be irrelevant um, whether he knows or not. A uh, regular goblin with his minus one strength. Down he goes. Give me some damage, 2d6. Oh, okay. Bup, bup, bup. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Oops. Oh my gosh, are you okay? You should really be more observant. <laughs> Crawler is also going to run. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will, I will then then attack. With my held action. Wait, how did Merg die? I missed that. No, Attack of up. Uh, oh. 11 damage. I believe there's another dead goblin. <laughs> you get a reaction back after your turn, correct? Not on the top of initiative. So I have, I have a reaction again. That's crazy. You do not have a reaction. You just used it. No, I, that, that was a held action. I, exactly. I held my a held action, action is a reaction. Mm -mm. It requires your reaction to trigger. I see. Get DM'd on, beef. <laughs> Get, <d> <laughs> Get DM'd on. All right, who's up? Zerga. Where is? She? Where did Zerga go? Oh, there she is. She is going to provoke from Elrin. Um. I know. Um. Not gonna... Wow, they are rolling. Awful. My Valkyries. Grease is out of there. Well, you, you wasted it all on your uh, your initiatives. Uh, oh, okay. I'm I'm going to make an attack of opportunity against Grease oh, in a neutral man. way and be like, "Don't run, you coward." I like it. Roll a deception for that one. DC Let's ten. Thirteen. All right, believable. Make your make your attack. Um, this is actually not going to be a warhammer. I just don't have the scimitar on here. I guess. Sure. So I'll roll the d six plus three. Six damage. Ooh, 
He made it. Got away with one HP. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> he sees Sildar and turns around. <laughs> <laughs> kind of jumps off the high point here so they can avoid damage. <laughs> Uh, the wolves are going to move in on Urk and Yemek. I think they have space to get through there. Mike, what is going on? A two and a one? You wasted it all on your initiative. Oh, you know what? No, that one had pack tactics. So one missed. And this one does not have pack tactics, sadly. This is awful. This is awful. Trinza is going to use her spear. I know it says scimitar, but it's a spear. Crass. Oh, my. Uh, you said Trinza is using spear? Um, all three Valkyries are using spears. Oh, okay. I thought you said Trinza, and she's right in front of me. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, I used the wrong. My bad. Trinza's using Eldritch Blast. Okay. Who's she targeting with Eldritch Blast? Mezca. Mezca. Um, well, I'm going to... What's the drop down here? If you If you can clear this, you can fall down safely. If you can, if you can clear ten feet, you can land safely. I am going to just kind of duck down around this kind of corner right here, and so where like maybe Grease can see me, but I'm just kind of kind of see if I can hide. Is there a good spot to kind of tuck away and hide, or is it pretty open right here? It is dark. It is obscured enough to hide. If you under okay. the bridge, you can hide. But on top of the bridge, very much exposed. All right, I'm just gonna. No, yeah, I'm gonna action hide, and then uh, can I sneak up here on Trinza? Is she facing? Because she's facing in the direction. Okay, hiding, and then you're gonna try and get the jump yeah. on Trinza. Sure. Yeah, and then I'm going to bonus action bite. Okay. So I'm at level two. I got to mix it up. I can't bonus action hide, then attack with my action. I have to hide with my action, attack with bonus. So. Right. <laughs> it's the hidden tech. <laughs> Gotta love how that works. All right, and then. All right, nine piercing. Okay, nine she is still standing. Awkward. <laughs> and we'll call that. Stand by. She's got a special spell on her. Mm, one of those, huh? Hellish Rebuke. Am I right? She has Armor of Agathus going, but I don't oh, think you did enough to break it. But I can't spell Agathus. Armor of Ag Agath. Okay, it's an A. Uh, she has five temporary hit points. If a creature hits you with a melee attack while you have these, the creature takes five cold. Ian, take five cold damage as you bite into her armor of Agathus. No. Um, she takes four more. All right. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> Erk is down. Chat truck. Sildar's right. behind you. Um, Crowdwick's tired of standing idle. He's going to move up. Um, Where is my sheet? There it is. Um, Okay, there's there's a few enemies around. Um, I'm going to uh, Greatsword... Yemek. 18 for 9. Got it. 
hits and he takes nine. Um, that is my uh, actually that's with advantage, by the way. Um, let me just roll for crit just in case. I'm ready. Uh, no crit. That is my turn. Elrin. Great. So, are any of the party members injured? I, I remember am that. gravely wounded. I am also at one. Ah. Oh. <sighs> Make this so difficult. Okay, um, well, I can see you. Um. So, I'm going to healing word. Um. I'll use healing word. There. Hold on. That. Um. Tony, healing word. Um, seven healing, and honestly, that's probably going to be my turn. Okay. To, to whomst? Not Tony. Oh, Antoine. All right, Mezca, now that we've thinned the numbers a bit, I'm more comfortable it. describing attacks of my beautiful Valkyries. So Mezca wields a spear. She stabs into Yemek with a 20 to hit for six damage. Excuse me, seven damage. It's a plus one weapon. And then does it again with a nat one. And because she missed, she missed... Her spear starts to glow. Uh, oh, I know what this is. A close. Yes, sir. Well, um, it seems that we're uh, mopping up the non-Valkyries at the moment. So, uh, Yemek, sorry about your luck, man. Um, here comes the Warhammer. Valkyries forever! <laughs> With advantage. Hey, you are flanking. Oh. Still only a, a 13 to hit. A 13 does not hit, Yemek. Will that be your turn? From Rick rolls to Kalos yeah, rolls. That's going to be my turn. Uh, Antoine. Um, I have a question. With I'm ready. the uh, bomb kit thing that we got earlier. Is there anything in there, like, that could be readily deployed onto this here brazier in such a way that it would have a more or less predictable result? It would destroy the bomb kit completely. But, sure, I'll say that it'll do um, a small blast. You could probably hit Aggie with it. Hmm. But you also have a grenade. Why are we attacking the Valkyries now? We're, we're not. I'm just... <laughs> like a, I'm just, a, just curious, you know, for future... I'm curious, curious, just how hypothetically, good. how do you dispose of a human body? Google. Yeah. Google. Um, well, we've seen these guys use arrows, right? Um, I'll take out a crossbow. And, uh, at... One of the regular goblins. Emic. Okay. I'm ready. I'm sorry. I'm not. I had it unequipped. Twelve miss. That is. <laughs> I will screw around the corner and that's my turn. Okay. Zerga is going to back off and fire her magical bow. Just use this. It's just one shot. For six. Which kills Emic. And... 
Trenza remains. Uh, Grease is on the run. He's going to disengage this time. Three, four, five, six. Claw is unsure who to kill. Uh, what are you doing right now, Kachatruk? Uh, turning to Trenza. Uh, to kill. Okay. Yeah, Claw's unsure. Yeah, he'll just disengage. He'll back off. Slice will do the same, I guess. Trenza. Damn, what is she doing in this situation? <laughs> what a situation. What a situation indeed. She's got one spell slot. And nothing useful. She'll surrender. She'll surrender. Leave to fight another day. Uh, she'll throw up her arms and surrender. Okay, you win. Victory for the Valkyries. Um, she should not have surrendered to a gift. We did it. Crass. Yes. It is your turn. Oh. Do you are you accepting her surrender? Are we continuing? Is anybody yeah. actually are we breaking combat now or is uh uh I'm gonna go right here. Can I see Grease from where I am? E no. No. Well you can like Oh, with disadvantage, you could hit him. Or you, you like, if you want to, you doing a range attack? Um, I'm just gonna yell, Queen, the live one's right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I'll back up, and then I'll just kind of like grin at Trinza, and then I'm right there. Grease disappears. <laughs> Um, Urk is dead. Aggie, I didn't get to show off her cool thing. Sorry, Sam. I make the combats last longer. In the day. <laughs> yeah, it was just like there were so many NPCs that I didn't want to dwell on their turns, so I didn't get to show they off missed. their cool abilities. But I'll just say, I can just, I can just tell you, Aggie has a unique weapon. Stand by. So it, during the fight, you notice that Aggie carries a okay. Never mind. You don't you don't notice her unique spear. Mezca is using a returning spear though. That one you did notice. Like she chucked it and it immediately came back to her. Um, just double checking, Kachat Truck. Are, are you finishing off Trenza or accepting the surrender? I will accept the uh, queen to eat it because yeah, that's what I gathered from. Uh... Uh, Crass yelling. I think Crass was feeding, was telling Queen to to get Grease. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Man, yeah, dude, Queen I is will, Queen I is booking it. Um. Okay. Queen is booking it through this through this creek or this uh the stream. By the way, nineteen hits. Seven slashing. All right. And uh, that is all I can do. Oh, I can move. I will move back. Right now, I believe we're done with combat. Yeah. Zerga, who is clearly in charge of the Valkyries, approaches Elrin and says, Congratulations, you both started and ended an uprising. Yes, well... I think my headphones just died. Uh, you cut out and then you came back. Okay, my headphones just died. That's probably why. Mm. We're no. going to be wrapping it up here. It's actually, um, do you guys want to finish this up? We're a little bit past time. Um, uh, finish. I'm, I'm done with that. This conversation. Okay. Well, I told you my intentions. You said no, so that's that's a no. And he started something. We finish it. Well, you finish it very effectively. It's 
So that is all that needs to be talked about. We don't need to look into this issue any more than we already have. Okay. Show them the power of the Valkyries. Zerga crosses her arm and says, okay, you helped us with that and you gave my ear earring back. What do you want? Aggie calls Claw and Slice over. They appear to be huddled. They appear to be resting near a chest in the corner. My babies, my babies. These vicious creatures turn into the most cuddly and adorable wolves you've ever seen in a, in a blink of an eye. They become flabs. They become flabby babies. Zerga can now Zerga they, has her must be protected. Say again, sorry. Now they must be protected. <laughs> Zerga continues to stare at you with the most piercing eyes. Her arms remain crossed. What? Why would we want anything? Um perhaps an we, well, game. we wanted to have a new leader. But you said no, so that's off the table. If you we are not supporting it, we don't need it. Perhaps an audience with the current leader? What's no your... Opportunity for promotion? An audience with Clark? Yes. I can't grant you that. He's through there. Right. She looks at you, Crash. What's your relationship with this Clark? He goes his way, I go mine. Why are you asking? I'm just curious what the attachment is. Correction, she says, we go. He goes his way, we go ours. She says, we. Do the three of you protect him and have some purpose? We'll protect him, protect him from some uppity... Booyak, wielding goblins. Nasty Booyak. Valkyrie's power strong. Why? Mm -hmm. Why does Why does Clog rule and Valkyries don't? Ooh, how will she answer that? Because we don't want to. Ah. Yeah. What's the health plan like? Is it good health plan, bad health plan, dental? Mezca even pipes up. Um, actually, this is something I wanted to talk to you about. Why don't we just leave? Get out of probably wouldn't even get up. Zer Zer Zergo just kind of like tilts her head. Pfft. He couldn't stop us. The two of them discuss where would we go? They have a conversation. Any input from the party? Yeah, wherever you want, I suppose. Who is going to stop you? Not Clark. They blew up those barrels down by the old ambush point, so it's not a good one anymore. Mez you. Mezca says, this cave is done. <laughs> They're almost all dead. It's just Glarg left. I did want to know something. Listen, you heard of a castle anywhere nearby? Yeah, we've heard of it. But that's... Well, but she assumes you're saying that that's where they should go, and she says, no, we're definitely not taking that from King Gruul. In Gruel, yes. Look to my mind. Of course. Hypothetically, if you were to go there, though, where would you go? What direction? Hypothetically. Are you asking me where the castle is? Yeah, we want to give it a very wide berth. Yes. She tells I'm you where it is. where it is. So I can go away from it. She gives you vague directions northeast but without landmark 
without landmarks or specific path. Um, a close, you are familiar with the you you lived in Neverwinter Wood as part of your backstory. So I will give you advantage on the survival roll to figure out where exactly she's talking about. Okay. To the point where you can find it. It's still going to be a difficult DC though. DC twenty. Give guidance. But she does give you rough rough direction. Ooh, can you 50, get a two? Fifty percent chance. chance. Yep. Oh, there it is. All right. You recognize the area she described. Oh, yeah. I know that. Wait. So, I think we actually have some important stuff to be doing. Um, I'm also feeling very tired. So, wish you luck. Wherever the moon leads your, I, I mean, wherever you go, and uh, luck. Yes, uh, we'll we'll wrap things up around here. Need to uh, bother yourself with that. And make sure that a claw and slice are given all the pets they need. I'm sure you will, but give them some from me. When you say wrap things up here, what are you referring to? Uh, you dispose of the remaining prisoner. Yeah. Loot the cavern. Sure no one knows we were here. Doesn't uh, follow you. That sort of thing. I'm going to see bad. if I can discern how she feels about us just killing him and getting him out of the way. Give me an insight. Can... This one's going to be a varying DC. Yeah, you, yes, you can guidance. Oh, guidance. With advantage. Who, who is oh, if, only. Yeah, if only. If only. Proficiency. I have proficiency. I have proficiency. But I'm not there. Thank you. Here, where are you? Uh, I'm behind. So they behind this rock. So they can't. See oh, okay. Me. You don't. They don't want to. Don't want to. I actually probably back up more. Okay. Yeah, so whatever, if I have advantage from somebody else who has proficiency, that's uh, 23. If not, that's uh, 12. I have proficiency, so you should have advantage. If that's allowed. Nice. Yes. If somebody is proficient, they can help you. In that case, with the 23, she does not care about Clark one bit, but she is, how do I describe this? Like, has a code of honor. So if you attack Clark, she's she is by she code going to... But, I mean, you've got a 23. You could probably talk her into leaving for a time, going on a hunt or a stroll. Go walk the dogs with a successful per persuasion. Doesn't have to be you that rolls it, just saying. Her overall her overall demeanor is that she doesn't care about Clark one bit or Yemek or Irk, but she does have loyalties that are important to her. She does have a code. Yeah. Uh, Crass and Goblin Form is going to look over to Aculos and be like, wow, it's really nice day. I bet they want to go take a break for a minute. It, <laughs> Looking yeah. at the light coming through the... Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, old, old Slice isn't uh, pacing around needing to pee. You All this feasting we've been doing after the last raid... Zerga blinks unamused. Uh, roll a perception. Or, not sorry, uh, persuasion. Whoever's got it. Uh, DC 15. I can assist with that too. Doesn't well. Ikelos have like a plus five? I think you have the highest. Yeah. Yeah, without, without applying bless at 17, or not bless uh, guidance at 17. Aggie! The pups look tired, or the pups look bored. Let's take them for a walk. And leave them, yep. <laughs> how do the, how do the wolves react to the word walk? They're like, they're, <laughs> their tongues are out. They heard, 
They heard walk and their tongues are out. Walkies. That's why you uh, you spell it out. How are, are most goblins literate? These these three are. I mean, okay, so they could have spelled walk. I'm saying it, but that's funny. Do you think you should take him on W A? Using your feet outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Valkyries gather the puppies and make their way towards the exit. All right. Thank you. Our chance. Do we want to call it here? Or do we want to kill Clark? Yeah. <laughs> Shielder, do you want to have class tomorrow? So I think. Yeah, good idea. Say again. What are you asking, Sildar? Oh, I was gonna say. Do you want to tell us what's going on here? Like, uh, clearly, this this is not uh, as simple as it seems. From what I can gather, they started worshiping that stone, which gave them power, and they decided that they wanted to be, they were going to overthrow their oppressive leaders like the bugbears, who are unaware, or like Clark, who is unaware of the stone's influence or doesn't care. I don't know. I haven't spoken to him. So this had nothing to do with the job uh, that you had us doing? Well, I don't know why they wanted Gundren, but they clearly did. They took him to Cragmaw Castle. I'm just telling you why these goblins decided to turn into maniacs and try to... Not everyone made it, Silver. However, Miss Stephanie is outside with a uh, wagon we were able to repurpose after yours exploded. He like, <laughs> he like dusts his hands. Perfect. No harm done. And the supplies? Uh, Those exploded there, also. There are supplies. Not the same supplies. We recovered what we could. <laughs> Not the same <laughs> There are <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to make do. I'm tired of I'm tired of goblins. Are we leaving? Uh, I, I was actually thinking we might want to put down a um, annoying person. A, a specific hairy bugbear. It oh, may be worth Clark. ending Clark's influence in this area. Yes. That's, that might be a very useful. All right. He may have further info me. I'm on board, but I want my sword. Oh. Yes. Uh, where Let's, might that be? Let us go back to the, the prisoner area and see if we can open up the it's chest in, in there. It, it's in here. Oh, it's in here. Oh, yeah. Well, let's <laughs> well it, it was in there. I just moved it. Open it. Uh, I have. Uh, Does anyone have a crowbar? I have. Uh, Sildar. Sil the <laughs> Sildar <laughs> grabs the. I, oh yeah, um, you did hear who? I, I'm not going to tell you, but you did hear who owned it. Oh, yeah. uh, Crass is going to point out the, the keys on it. Go. The detective is on it. <laughs> he uh, grabs the crowbar, just point. <laughs> <laughs> With the keys on <laughs> Emic. Emic. Yeah. Remember Emic called out, hey, oh, get away yeah. from my chest. <laughs> Heads off my chest. <laughs> All right. What a good game. There I is there is cool. one one more chest in this room. It's kind of off in the darkness, but you do notice it over here. Oh. You know it belongs to the Valkyries. So what is the uh, what's the call? Oh, there's no In the interest of staying alive, I think we might not want to use it. What's, is nice. it locked? It is I, locked. All, I, all, okay. Both of these chests are locked. I will... Uh, no, no, no. Is it trapped in some way? You're unsure if it's trapped. Probably. Probably. I can look if it's trapped. If it's it not trapped, be... then we should look inside. I don't... don't think... It's, I would appreciate being shot full of arrows in the off chance that they figure out that someone was rifling through their stuff. I don't and plan I don't to be here off. by the time they reach. Yes, but I, I, I also don't trust any between us to uh, keep a pin cushion. Well, I suppose the next task then is to find the many ways to cut the head off a cat. Okay, so our two allies that are particularly beat up, who has less health points? 
I am at one. You're at one. I'm going to go ahead and feed you three more health points. That'll be the last of my lay on hands. Thanks. In the chest that we are definitely opening that contains Sildar's, Sildar's sword, which he grabs, assuming, uh, assuming you allow it. Um, also, a wand of ray of sickness, three healing potions, two mana potions. Those give you a spell slot back when you drink them. A water clock clearly belonged to the Neverwinter Goods, worth 100 gold pieces. Oh, wait, you're not supposed to know the, the amount. Stained glass lantern, silver amulet with a pearl in the center. Religion check. I got to delete that. There's too much information here. Uh, I will roll a religion check. Uh, okay. Unless that I can help. Uh, my deity it, uh, herself. Yes, it is a holy symbol of Saloon. So you recognize it. Yeah, I recognize I, I recognize this. It's a symbol of one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, deities in the history of uh, Forgotten Realms. So, Morty, you know. Anything else magical? But, uh, I'm going to detect magic. There's magic in that in the Valkyrie chest. <laughs> just uh, open this damn chest. They won't there, there, there are there. pros and I'm just gonna say there's pros and cons. To check for check for traps. Yeah. All right, what's the check for trap? It would be perception. Percep investigation would be an interesting one, though. I think it would be perception, though. Could be both, depending on the trap. We're going to go with perception. Most of the traps require perception. All right. So whoever's got the high perception. I got a good nice. perception. So I can do that. I'm guessing I'm being aided. Well, if we send it to camp, they'll never know. Yeah. Ember chest. You have to pick it up first. Oh. So so Still I got the 17 on the perception to see if it's trapped. It does not appear to be trapped. Uh, oh, no, that was my persuasion check from before. I, I didn't make oh. a perception Sorry, check. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. looking at this. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Not trapped. It yes. still does not appear to be trapped. Oh, okay. Yes, I think it might be trapped. We, yes, it, it appears like it's trapped and we should not interact with it listen we <laughs> it, it looks very dangerous to just um, a look just a look we can blame we can blame anybody uh, <laughs> can just slide in just slide in through the lock and take a look we can, <laughs> we can blame peace peace stole right. it what's in it lock pick it <laughs> i i we don't have to take anything we just want to this one you're going to need a sleight of hand to open the lock is resettable, though, so it is possible yeah. to peek inside and not take anything. Exactly. So where are um, options? Yes. Leave a little. I, right. I hand got you. the spider hand. I hand you the thief sword. No, it's. Isn't it oh. you? Uh, I guess it is. <laughs> I guess it is. Baby. Said, <laughs> the rogue. To the, the, rogue the rogue's like, who's got the thief sword? <laughs> I can aid you, but I won't. Uh, you are able to pick the lock, open and peek inside. There are two mana potions, a a potion of eagle splendor. I'm going to stop telling you what these potions are, by the way. Well, I mean, you guys have the means. Potion of eagle splendor, which is the one that gives you advantage on charisma. Two mana potions and a scroll of dispel magic is what's in this chest. Oh. There's also replacement dog collars. There's, there's different dog collars labeled claw and slice. Hey. Now hear me out. They're okay, no. but there's not much in there. So, Blood cage so coming in with the fifty bucks. Let's, uh, let's take this, take it now. But now I must go and go away quick okay, for the cops or near because some of the snitch. Good luck with that cage. No, Thank I you for the fifty. Open. So, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'll put it to good use. Yeah, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it open. <laughs> um, I mean, surely they won't miss one of these uh, blue potions. We just got some, didn't we? Yes, but we could have more. How about we leave it closed for now and come back after? We, we got need... some, yes. 
I, for that. one, in my but current no, state, do not want to get Valkyried from behind when they find out that this okay, is okay. Okay, I do recall <laughs> this. Also, please, please remember: if you get hit very badly, I cannot heal you. I am okay, all okay. healed. I'm convinced. Reset the lock. All right, I will click the lock shut. The loot remains. The lock clicks, and you've made allies. They may come up in the future. Priest will remember. <laughs> Wait, where'd that text box go? <laughs> Are we uh, leaving off here? Good session. Yeah, we're we're Good ending it here. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't go a session without leveling up. Oh, awesome. Thank. Or without that. Uh, don't like being first and second. Beef always one. comes in clutch with the level. <laughs> Sam, honestly, I, I had a blast. I, I, I'm I, honored that you included me. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. I hope you all Don't worry, Draconis. I will not ask who's the DM because that's the answer. Beef, did you enjoy my alterations? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the warlock stuff threw me to, uh, threw me to, like, off a little bit like what that's crazy <laughs> man by the book they don't even oh man don't even get me started we'll talk about it later that's yeah. a 50 donation yeah somebody came in with the 50. oh wow Ooh, all right well i've got about 70 minutes until my next game is there anything more you guys want to talk about um how are you gonna do that that's what I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, my 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 second game. I I am a I am a night owl, as Sam can attest. Ah, uh, class. Nice. Um, it, it is the way of our people. I don't know if everyone is fine with it, but like I'm kind of going for like the the hubris gif, and I don't know if that's like setting anyone off, but um, I like no it. That's like a are. problem. Uh, yeah, it it it, it, it feels are? no more gith than Lazel. I I'm feeling that it's fine. Excuse me, Lazel is perfect, and this is slander. Lazel, I have a I have a great relationship with Lazel. You'll be fine. Lazel <laughs> Lazel is not racist because the gith can't be racist because they are objectively well, the yeah. best. Well, no, because they they have one word to describe everyone that isn't gith. So it's, it's mm -hmm. they're all. Oh, no, no, they, they also have. A yeah. A word for that, but it doesn't include mind flare. Infidel. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, because because no, because mind flare isn't a race; it's sub race. You know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Not to be confused hope. with sub races. Hope y'all had fun. Oh, absolutely. Sure did. Yep. And a pleasure meeting you guys that I haven't really interacted with much before this evening. Oh, it was nice meeting you too. Yeah. Wait, oh wait. I'm gonna kill the stream. Chat, thank you for hanging out for some more D and D. Thank you again, Blood Cage, for the fifty right. bucks. Look forward to the games in the future for sure. Yep. Take it easy. Much love, guys. Great. Later on. See. Chat. I'm out of here. You folks take it easy. See y'all see y'all tomorrow. Got a Friday game. Peace.